Good evening, Dude79 here, just doing a quick mic check to make sure everything sounds good. Uh, thank you all so much for those subs, we really appreciate that support. Hey guys, love to see it, appreciate you, we'll be live here shortly. Yo, 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 of course Rohit is here too, baby. Aw, uh, shit. Welcome to another edition of Banter and Babble. I'm the Dude 79, and joining me always, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Fanboy Tone. But the real reason that we hype for tonight is because this guy, Mr. Rohit Raju. That's right, baby. Rohizi. Rohizi's piece himself. <laughs> Did you say you pee yourself? I Ro think yeah, Rohizi's pee myself, yes. <laughs> Well, oh, he's his piece. <laughs> he is back mm -hmm. because we got a big show tonight. And he's got a couple of things he'd like to get off his chest. Just a couple of things. Oh, he's making hey, a bounce. He's, he's making a bounce. Making oh, a bounce. My oh, my God. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first of all, Cuddles, thank you so much, man. We appreciate that, dude. Very, very Ooh. kind gesture. You're a big old sweetheart. I don't care what anybody says about you. You're the man, the myth, man. We appreciate that support, brother, as always. Yeah, um, you guys, as you can see, uh, now that you kind of know a couple things here, I guess, really, uh, right away, is that uh, the sub button's back. We are now affiliated back on Twitch. We decided after reviewing everything, and you may have seen on social medias as well, too, some of you, some of you may not, uh, we decided to just go back exclusively to streaming live on Twitch. Uh, you know, hey, we, we tried it, right? We want to see what it would do. Uh, it didn't really grow the way we thought it would. That's fine. We just also felt at the same time we were missing out on some great things with a lot of you who've been consistent with us from Mixer on Twitch, now on Twitch. So, you know, we decided to dial it back a little bit, too. So uh, we appreciate you for following us through that. And then also, uh, real quick, as you see, brand new intro there, too. So as always, Ant House is bring us in, bringing us in. But I'd also like to give a shout out to my good friend at Square Kid underscore on Instagram. The dude is a longtime musician, uh, very, very talented. He put this together. He does this thing during January. We picked out a song called January Day, Day, Day. Every day of that month, he's putting out something new. So watch him for that at Square Kid underscore on Instagram. But he allowed us to uh, pick out a song and use it for an intro. So, uh, cool. yeah, we're really excited about that. We've been working on that for a little bit of a while. And thank you to the dude for putting that together. 
here we are finally. So I'm gonna have to check him out too. Oh, he's good. I'm he's really good. And like I said, we're we're just so fortunate to be able like to work with like two intro. people. Mm -hmm. You know, really him and and Ann House Beats who do the music for the show and provide that for us. And and, and that's what keeps us. You know. Pretty hype, man. Yeah, he's yeah, pretty was, solid yeah, with the opening, the closing, the intro music. I mean, it's it's awesome, and, and they will do awesome work, man. If you ever need something, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. They are incredibly talented. So once again, we appreciate you guys, and House. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate you. Hopefully, everyone's having a great week. But yeah, man, it's 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 it's, it's an exciting week. We have a lot of great stuff to talk about tonight. We are in the middle now of that fall rush of so content. Much video games, movies, TV shows. It is on and popping Dude, right now. Honestly, I'm gonna throw in their anime. I'm gonna throw oh, in their yeah. NBA. Do you watch Chainsaw Man? Uh, um, I watched the first episode, bro, bro. And then Bleach. Bleach. Yeah. Holy shit! I didn't watch shit. three yet. I gotta watch. Oh shit! You don't even know then. No. But so. uh, it sucked me right back in. Dude, me too. I was like, as soon as I heard, if you wanna see <laughs> some action, <laughs> I, was I got goosebumps again. Played. Yeah, dude. Worst yeah, theme song of all time. No, it's the greatest. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. No, but yes, there's a oh, lot of man. content right now, just generally in media. We've got movies coming, just so much shit. So really excited. So Cuddles wants to know if you watch Rings of Power. I actually watched all of it just so I could be back here. I tortured myself and watched the whole thing. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. We will talk about that. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Talk yeah. about that. There's literally yeah, no like way we're going to be able to uh, to get around that. So no. we may have to cancel other topics. But he, what's been going on with you, man? What, what, what's new? Hustling. hustling, constantly hustling, constantly hustling, trying to make connections, trying to make moves. I will be in Indiana on Saturday, and then St. Louis, Missouri, oh, glory. on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. BLP, um, be down there for that, and then uh, that's Black Label Pro, great promotion, and then of course Glory Pro. So and I'll be I'll be teaming with one half of the hustle and the muscle. I can't even say one half because uh, Big Flexi is with us now too. So but I'm gonna say yeah. Oh, now you've I, got three of you. It's yes. great, dude. Yeah, and and, and be going after the Crown of Glory, which is their main title. So just trying to wrestle, just trying to now stay warm up uh, pretty soon because it's gonna be cold, and I hate the cold. So we'll see what happens. But other than that. Hustling like always, baby. Yeah, man, we are getting that cold ass weather. Man, we had like what? What it was we were beautiful, about? 75, 80 degrees. I love it. 75, like a couple Ooh. days ago. And now we're right back down to them 40s, man. Thank you so much, half ass beer, beer review for those uh, bits. Appreciate yeah, that oh, support. Yeah. But uh, no, man, I, I, I'm just, I feel like we've, I think we're supposed to get 60s again, but I think we're done with the 70s. I think, figured, I think yeah. we've seen it. I think that was mm -hmm. Mother Nature saying, hey, We'll see. I'll see you again in May. Yeah, because that's typically she, she. You know, most people get that nice warm weather around April. Not here. We get not about here. May. Yep. Mid May is before right. we can start wearing shorts. And well, I mean, I'm fat, so I wear shorts in January. So. <laughs> and there and there's that chart that you see for Michiganders that's like, oh, fake fall, real fall, <laughs> and then like, oh, here's second summer. It's, it's yeah. like you know, it's just and that's what we just I think had as our second breakfast. That's exactly what I was thinking <laughs> of too. Is hobbits eating breakfast because I like breakfast. Yeah. No, that's good, man. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're keeping busy and you got stuff to do. And and you're doing your thing, and uh, I, I seen a, I actually came across another one of your promos on on Instagram earlier today. Uh, I don't know when it was. Is AAW? Oh yeah, that was so much fun. Oh I, yeah, you were. They didn't even know. No, nope. Uh, I was. It was last minute, and yeah, was uh, hype. man, it was so Gotta good love to be that back. Promotion, dude. The the crowd was hype, yeah. you know, and the matches I had were so much fun. It just felt great to be back at AA Dub. Yep. So uh, one of my favorite promotions. So we great. Logan it was Square, great, man. It was awesome. Heart of Chicago. Got to see a lot of old Impact people. We hung out, had uh, hit the gym. So, oh, yeah. Some oh, of the crews out the gym. Baby. Bod squad, Bod yeah. squad. So uh, it was by far a very much needed wrestling weekend. And then the road trip was myself, Jake something. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I wore this for you. Yeah. Ren Jones, that nerd ass dork, but uh, <laughs> at least he's got that flex to Yeah, I got that flex to visit But uh, other than that, uh, it was great, man. And yeah, that promo off the top of the dome, baby. I'm like Jay Z when it comes to these, oh, these yeah. promos, it's man. Spitting. Number bars. I have yeah. just bullet points, and I just start yeah. spitting. You should have been fire. breathing heavily, and you weren't at all. You were just spitting. Uh, yeah, I was blah, 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 like old yeah. 80s wrestlers spitting all over the camera. Over yeah, the guy yeah. holding it. Yeah. Sweating like a motherfucker. Well, <laughs> like the road warriors. It's real simple. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> spitting all on your microphone right now. <laughs> Got the great. squeegee on the, yeah. on the camera. The squeegee on the camera. Huh? <laughs> Dig it? Yeah. 
I told them we should have had a Halloween episode. I would have dressed up as Savage. Oh, I know. And, uh, why didn't you think about that? I don't know. We didn't think about it. We didn't get it all the way out. Yeah, we didn't think all the way. Yeah, that's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They left you. Next time we have you on, you just dress as I'm just going to dress as Macho Man 24 7. Yeah. Kind of hot, man. Yeah. I, I, I want to be a bushwhacker. I've got you for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Bone saws ready. Uh, who, who would you go as if we if we did Halloween as wrestlers? Who Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bigelow. Hey, that'd be awesome, dude. Yeah, I'd do sweet. cartwheels. I'll do a fucking cartwheel right oh, yeah. the table. I'd want to go as a bushwhacker, but I don't want to lick either of your heads. No, so we don't gonna, want that. Macho do man that, would man. punch you in the throat. <laughs> Cohen's mom calls her me her little bushwhacker. Very wow. little, actually, super little bushwhacker. Wow, wow. she's mentioned it. Yeah, wow. that was uh, that was Jake harsh. Jake, Jake, Jake Snake would be a good one as well too. But I got to roll into the bald. I could do like drink too much IPA, Stone Cold maybe. Goddamn son, that's right. <laughs> Shout to kiss the dudely boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, tell him what have you been up to, man. Uh, well. So- not a whole lot, real. Not a whole lot. Just been, yeah. You're just, just kind of a piece of shit, huh? Yeah, I did some pumpkin slut stuff on Saturday last weekend. We did, uh, yeah, we hit up stuff. Johnson's, hit up Lehman's, the the uh, Apple Barn. Did you get any? Did you get any good stuff? Any chow? Uh, donut, cider, anything? I, dude, probably one of the best cider donuts I've ever had. Like, mm. had chunks of fucking donut or apple in it. Uh, like, like, holy like, shit! Splooge. Yeah. But the biggest thing is why I like going to these places is I like the animals. Lehman's. Let's you so there's a fee to He's get into in. The heavy petting, fucking <laughs> pervert. Absolutely, they let you into the like the cage area and all the like little like pygmy goats and baby goats. Oh. You can just go in there and they're just chilling, eating. You pet them, you brush them. There's sheep, cuddles. Hate that. There's a there, there was a calf in there too. I was calling hamburger. People weren't finding Aww. that very funny, but still. <laughs> Piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. But that that was that made the day. And then we just watched you know scary movies all fucking weekend. R- cool. The ritual finally seen that was was blown away by Dude, that. The ritual is seriously underrated. Holy man. Really? Shit. That's a, it was a Netflix joint. It was a Netflix movie. It's Dude. Got, uh, David Bruckner who directed the new Hellraiser. Yeah, he did. It. And it's 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 really out there. It's got his some, list of movies is quite impressive. He, man, he's he's a, a staple in the horror genre now. He's making a lot of noise Dude, in the horror genre. Sold. I'm very sold. So yeah, just a good weekend like that. And then um, we might briefly mention her just now. Anyways, we did a, a game night with Ghostbusters on last Friday. Literally, ladies and gentlemen, probably one of the funnest experiences playing multiplayer games that I've had this year was playing Ghostbusters with me, Trick, and Dude absolutely nice. phenomenally fun yeah it doesn't come without its faults clearly because i'm having epic store issues with connectivity but i've not had that kind of fun playing a game in a long time where like even if you're losing whatever mm-hmm. it was just didn't feel like the consequences matter it was just fun because you're literally sounds proton packs everything they even got the some of the costumes from the real ghostbusters cartoon show oh, you can get dude in there. is a gorilla in it dude and right <laughs> uh and 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 uh dan Aykroyd and ernie hudson do the voices of their characters oh, and i'm talking awesome. like that's a awesome. lot of dialogue. Yeah, that's and there, cool. there's like a pseudo story. Absolute phenomenal game for forty dollars. I can't Hell, praise yeah. it enough. It was a great game. I have a good time. Yeah, Blanco says there's more maps and ghosts coming. They actually decorated the. I said cuddles. They they decorated the cuddles, the um Monster the firehouse cool. now. Uh, they did a little live because it's a live service game. Yeah. So if you go in there, and I guess it's like decorated and stuff for Halloween and shit. I was reading online. Man, so that's pretty dope that they're Man, doing yeah, stuff had like a, that. Had a blast though. I say, so. uh, what Josie Wells said. That's really cool. What's that? Kevin Nash's sister was. Uh, Elementary teacher. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, Kevin Nash's his son, son this man, passed away. Yeah. His son passed away. That's unfortunate. That's really, really shitty. Yeah. Kevin Nash is a very tall person. I met him at Comic-Con yeah. one year. Yeah. And, uh, I walked right next to him, and I was like. I, that's what I did. And then he was at a show I was at. He was really cool. Scott Hall was really cool, too. His kid was actually pretty cool. <laughs> Scott Hall's kid. I <laughs> was watching Graham's Boy this week, and when the, the, the beginning of the movie and uh, they walks out to the kitchen. He's like, "What's up, guys?" And he's just seeing their chips. Like, "What's up?" And it's just Kevin Nash standing there, like, "Okay, cool. yeah." That's just that Grandma's boy is just so Dude, it's, underrated. It, it is. It's so underrated. It, it, and I it is, hated it's, that movie. You yeah. didn't like it at yeah, all. I remember. I think it was. Well, I would you and Tom or a loop would be like, "What the hell?" I was like, "I just I tried. I couldn't." Get Dude, it. it still is a good like. I just watching this week. It's still amazing. Like I still. Yeah, I don't know why it just wasn't for what me. The fuck? He's more into that know? elevated humor. He likes the thought provoking humor. I like Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's dope though. 
That's dope. Uh, Crash actually got a 37.6 out of 40 on his psych exam. Hell he's, yeah. He's, he's our local, uh, yeah, local one of our local nerd. Yeah, local, yeah. Smart nerd. Guy. You're lucky we don't oh, give yeah. you a swirly. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> what's, 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 uh, what's, uh, uh, what's that dude, uh, uh, O'Neal? I'm on uh, Robocop. What, you a college boy or something? <laughs> <laughs> But you think he's real smart, huh? You oh think you can dodge a bullet? Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> that is so... I forgot all about that, dude. That is going to be in my vocabulary for like a year now. Yeah. What are you, a college boy or something? <laughs> oh, man. That's so good. I love Ooh. that. Robocop yeah, has just been so many great lines Robo in that creep. one, man. Yep. Ah, dude, Robocop. <laughs> oh, such a good movie. Mm. Yes, it was. Ooh, um, I'm trying to think. What, what have I been doing? Drinking a lot. I've been drinking a lot. You've been drinking a lot. Yeah, you know, I, my, in the football world, things aren't good for, for myself. Oh, shit. The Lions are just a disaster on we Sundays. We all knew that was going to happen, though. And, of <laughs> course, Tone, it's that week, that one week of the year where everyone, Usually we're really hyped, too. A lot too. of people get really annoying. It's Michigan, mm-hmm. Michigan State mm-hmm. Week. Oh, uh, the Spartans head to Ann Armour for a, a, a Saturday night game, mm-hmm. 7.30. So I expect there to be a high body count out at, around the tailgates mm-hmm. and in the stadium. Uh, man, whenever you have all those folks together drinking heavily, starting at like 11 a.m. or even sooner than that, and then they're going into a night game, that rivalry, it is scary. Dude, it's adrenaline and alcohol. Yeah. It's like Dude, it's a horrible it's, combination. There's a there's that meme going around right now out there of Ben Affleck when he's up against the wall and he's smoking cigarettes, he's got his eyes closed, going, Oh and it just basically says the the local cops when they hear that Michigan, Michigan State have a night game. Oh, right. <laughs> oh like, yeah. Oh, like yeah. yeah, like just like and you know, honestly, the nice thing is is like, listen, we're state fans clearly. We got a lot of Michigan fans out there oh, as well too. Oh, yeah. We're always back and forth. The difference between the two of us is that we actually Truth be told, uh, we have a little self awareness. We know it's going to be a tough game. We probably won't win, so um, you know it's a little bit harder for us to be hyped this year. So uh, you know, if, if State somehow manages to pull it off, awesome, exciting. I mean, it's been ten out of fourteen. My expectations are very low. Yeah, t- it's been what ten out of, ten of the fourteen wins over the last yeah, fourteen. Ten out of fourteen. Ten, of, ten so. out of fourteen. They've so. had a good run. They've had a good run. Yeah, you know. So and you know, Michigan over the last uh, couple of seasons have you know the most overrated coach and. Football is sh- still showing that he can pull uh-huh. out some things out of his ass and then out of his <laughs> nose and then eat it, of course, too. But, you know, they'll probably win. That's a good question by Josie. Uh, he says, does Michigan cover if they win? I believe it's, what, 21 and a half? Michigan's favored by 21 and a half. If Michigan wins, I do think they can cover that. I don't know if they will, but I think I would I would be comfortable taking that bet. Do you want to address Josie talking about state fans talking about the past about a Michigan fan? Or oh, you, Michigan fans are always about the past. That's all they talk about. But they don't want to talk about the last 14 years. It's everything right. prior right. to right. that. They, they, they move the goalposts around about Correct. which right. Right. era <laughs> they talk yeah, about. It's ironic to yeah. hear that, though. Talk about self-awareness or the lack of it, buddy. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I will say Josie they, Wales was a good movie, though. Yes. <laughs> Josie Wales is a great movie. It's yes. a great movie. And Josie Wales is a great guy, so we're just giving him shit because that's what we do. Sweet. couple things we want to mention really quick straight. is, first of all, don't forget right now, Tricky Regent is doing Tricky's Theater Fright Fest Marathon. Oh. Uh, today was Trick or Treat, and uh, <laughs> we're, in, we're into that final week of uh, Halloween, so we'll be uh, running Cabin in the Woods tomorrow night, Zombie Land on Friday, oh. Army of Darkness. Oh, look at all these last few. Saturday, Army Michael J. Fox is the Frighteners oh. on Sunday, and of course, the granddaddy of them all, Monday night, who else would it be? Halloween on Halloween night. How original. The original <laughs> Halloween? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it better ah, be. Great movie. Better be. Awesome movie. Thank you. Finally, somebody else who understands. Dude, that was great. I appreciate that, man. You know what? I, I take back all the things I say about you <laughs> when you're not when you're not here. <laughs> I probably deserve it. Not at all. <laughs> kind of. Black Phone was a great movie. But uh no, seriously again, shout out to yeah. Tricky for um for uh for doing this, man. It's 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 great to be able to go in there and see that we got some movies on in, in playing for the uh for the community if they want to check it out. So thanks again, Trick. Always the man, the myth. We appreciate you. Man. And actually, we can talk about that, too. He is now uh, also helping out as a mod now, too. Yeah. So him and Cuddles are, yep. are, are, run, are, run, are running the, the mod ship. Yep, they're, the, they're our two main big guys. So we appreciate you, too, always supporting and everything that you do constantly yep. with your suggestions or doing things. The two of you have been huge for us. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of you guys in the community do a lot of great supporting, but... Cuddles and Trick are constantly uh, <laughs> trying to push us to do better. So we appreciate Walker you guys. Says, is it tricky or is it his kids? Ah, who knows? He leans on his kids for a lot of things, especially gaming. Yeah. Whenever like Tricky starts to perform well, I'm just like, oh, that must ha- be I kind of wonder when he was working from stick. home. 
<laughs> when he was working from home, was, was it ever really hit? like? Did he sometimes just like switch the kids in? Sometimes? Oh, absolutely. I'd imagine. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. hey, yeah, I gotta go to the store. Just yeah, yeah. Here. I, I think on your you college fund, get over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, you did the same thing with Mario Kart. Yeah, that's cool, man. Don't talk shit. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, Tone, we have a, a, a nice little update here. We do have a really big update. This is really exciting. So we've been talking about this here oh. with the Lost Lake. Kickstarter um, done by our friend uh, Gary and Josh uh, Sobek here uh, locally. Of course, uh, Gary, you know, works at Koi's Comic here, and we're Good big dudes. fans of those guys. Very great dudes. Um, so just to kind of update, we didn't talk about the art last time. It's being done by Giovanni of Kira, Kira, I believe, Circa, uh, and colors by James Curry. I hope I, gosh, Giovanni Versirca. I'm going to go Versirca. Okay, Versirca, and I apologize about that. But, hey. Uh, this is the cool thing, though. Uh, they sent us over about six or seven pages of the first actual uh, uh, comic here that we got to preview. And we will have these in the Discord. So you guys are in the Discord. If you want, pop in there. Check out the pages as well, too. Give you a little preview. Uh, instantly, I can tell you, like, the, the dialogue starts going and then just shit, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> And as you can see, yeah, very <laughs> art all, is the awesome. art is is absolutely awesome. Yeah. This looks already top tier. I'm really excited about this. It this does. is the kind of stuff I like that horror and stuff like that. They jump right into it in this so far, too. So really excited. So you guys can check out this preview as well here shortly. So the Kickstarter is still going on as well, too. So if you get a chance, uh, pop over to that Kickstarter. Give it a, give it some love. You know, if you got a dollar or two, even just to support. Mm -hmm. They really appreciate it. They're grinding out there. So um, we're really excited for them. And really thank you to Josh and Gary both for letting us be able to be involved like this as well, too. So thank you so much. Let's get this funded because uh, these guys uh, are working their asses off. So. The link is right there in the chat. You can click on that. Head over to Kickstarter. Uh, check out the different tiers and whatnot. And then, again, like Tom mentioned, in the Discord, we will have a channel where you can check out the exclusive pages that he sent over to us to mm. – uh, see what it's all about yep. but it looks fucking it looks Getting really that, good that it horror vibes that 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 kind of like that lovecraftian vibe yes. like things like that nature so yeah really excited it looks really good so make sure you check it out and then i head over to the kickstarter and let's get this thing funded man absolutely yeah really really excited for like little kids i swear yeah, i thought i made I, I went to school with their sister we we're oh, in the same grade them, like so. coming to gamestop or some shit yeah that too yeah okay. but i've known them forever yeah gary's the great mom dude was always really cool awesome very, do very dope. Very I do dope have a stuff. question for, for Rohit really quick before oh, we move Jesus on. Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Now, Tone is not a fan, but, I mean, are you a fan of cream pies? <laughs> well, it depends how No, I mean, I mean, seriously, I mean, when you think. <laughs> like like mean, the oatmeal cream pies? The um, Yes, dude. I love those. I just mean cream pies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, there's. there's. God, this is sick. I get what you're saying. It's, it's so tasty. I like getting around there and just it's so it's not your it's like so good, dude. I apologize if your children your are having to be in the same I'm just talking. I mean, I'm just asking if a man likes cream pies. Uh, no. God, no. why am I the only one that enjoys these things? Man, they're so good. Such a big fan of cream pies. Thank you, Rohit, for showing up for the last time on Banter and Babble. It's been a good time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I what can it. you get away with on Twitch? Hey, man, we're just uh, it's everything. Just, it's just a cream pie. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, Ooh. dude took his shirt off and had like tape over his nips. I did. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. We're pushing the, we're pushing the limits. We're pushing the limits. Twitch spin. never yeah. wrote. Twitch never wrote us yeah. or punished us. So I was like, okay, I have a little bit of they a little wiggle know. room here. Uh, oh, Twitch I, people take uh, a break. A little wiggle high. room. <laughs> Is that what? Full Monty's yeah, next or what, yeah, bro? Well, I mean, well, little bit. Hey, tune in every week. You might find something. Well, there are two. There are two little bushwhackers. So. <laughs> hey, just so you know, make sure you follow uh, Rohit here on Twitter. There's his link over there. Go check him out. Yes. He's always posting dope ass content. Yes. His promos, his highlights. Yes, it's it's definitely My, top it's, tier quality. Instagram is a little bit better because uh, I hate Twitter half the time. So <laughs> I hate because people just suck, man. But uh, my Insta is pretty sweet. That's what I'm normally on. So it's if pretty you hot. could follow that. Well, you guys call him. You call him cousin Jake. Ah, it's not cousin Jake anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna tease him for that though. Oh shit! That's right. Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's that so old cool. school. Hey, hey, oh hey. yeah, that needs to be updated. That's wow, great. that's gotta get. That's hey, no. Nah, we can leave it. We can call him cousin Jake. He loves that. <laughs> he loves it. No, he don't. Yeah, that's why he's never <laughs> been on. Wow, Problem. people, people want uh, uh, a Rohi OnlyFans. Uh, some people want the snap. So you gotta. What's the snap? Snapchat. Snapchat? Oh, wow. What's the like snap? We just like my dad. I what honestly, if it wasn't for wrestling, I wouldn't be on social media. Fair. Like hands down, That's like fair. I have a Facebook, I can't get into it half the time because it's stupid. My old Facebook got hacked, and then I couldn't get into that. 
And then, uh, so yeah, I just. By know. the way, the guy that hacked your uh, uh, Rohit Raj, like the other one or the the other, yeah, yeah, all that stuff, it puts out great content. Good, I hope so. Just kidding. Just I kidding. hope so. <laughs> I hope he does. It's all keep really, it going, man. Really, really, really good content. But uh, an OnlyFans. <laughs> Got pay me them big bucks, baby. See these cheeks. My That's daughter right. calls right. Facebook social media for old people. Oh wow. I mean, it's not a lie. It's not MySpace. Jesus. Yeah, Smack around a little MySpace. bit. Jesus. Yeah, MySpace is like really old. People so what's MySpace. social media for young people? Is that Snapchat and TikTok? I think is it's, it's TikTok. Might, yeah, I think yeah, it's TikTok. The big one these days. These days. Yeah, yeah, but see, like, TikTok, like, all that stuff just gets transported to Instagram Reels, and so I just watch that. Yeah. Point. The funniest thing, I can I say I took an edible? Is that funny? Yeah, you can. I okay. think you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, took a, I found my edibles, and I was like, man, my body was sore, so I took an edible. And I stayed up to like four in the morning watching reels. And there's this one of this little girl, her little, little blonde girl, and her hair is all wild. She has like a little pig nose. And she goes, Knuckle sandwich, like that. And the, <laughs> the mom goes, What did you say? She goes, Knuckle sandwich, like that. And then she goes, Did you just say if I wanted a knuckle sandwich? She goes, Yeah. And she hits her mom. I fucking oh. died. <laughs> I was dying laughing for like an hour. It was the funniest thing to me. So now I go around saying, Knuckle sandwich, like that. Next time I see Lupe, Lupe, knuckle sandwich. Like that's that. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What, what's a knuckle sandwich? Oh, I, I dude, get stuck on the food so ones. Funny. The food. That's the only thing I like about TikTok is the food. And the, the well, recipes. but mostly it's the animal ones that really hook me the most. See, man, he's he's fucking weird. Dude. Mine, no, I can't help him. <laughs> can't help him man. I love the I love uh, watching like the animal ones. Oh, there's some guy I, I got to send it to you. He was he had his cat, but he had it popping and locking. Like break dancing, yeah, and yeah, it was yeah. so. And the cat was just sitting there like this. I was like, "How do you get a cat that I? I pick up my cat. I'm like, oh god, god." But uh, it's either that or just um, butt cheeks. That's you know, fitness models and stuff. Wow! Like that. All right, hell yeah, that's that's that. Uh, I'm, I'm there. For that's food. age gated. I'm an honest man. I'm an honest man. He's, Sorry. he's an honest man. We appreciate that type yeah, of honesty. Uh, I heard Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Let's do the Russian film. I am a dragon. Hilariously bad. I am a dragon. Yes, Mystery Science Theater. I love that man. I've, I've never, I've never seen uh, I am a dragon, but uh. I do love even the um oh what do they call it? It's not Mystery Science Theater anymore. It's uh Rift Tracks. And I went and saw they redid Manos. They did Starship Troopers. Oh and I was in the theater crying. It was so funny. Oh really? It was <laughs> so good. I was dying laughing and they they haven't missed they haven't missed a beat, man. And it, it's a weird humor, but like I absolutely love it. He found knuckle sandwich out there too. <laughs> found it. He found knuckle it. Sandwich. You found it? Dude, it's so funny, man. Yeah. A little girl. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was Super high off my edible, but right, right. You were trying to put the rocket fuel in the spaceship <laughs> yeah. and whatnot. I like how Crash says, I get a lot of TikToks of people unclogging storm drains. The thing is, TikTok curates the time your your he's stuff a, based hey, on hey, what you're searching hey, he, for. He's a really big pervert. <laughs> I bet he is. I mean, he's like, he's like, it's so weird Some that about, I get all these videos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some about un- what you're yeah. looking for. Some about unclogging a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> Some know. people will do like the pimple poppers and stuff. Yeah, no. Blah, yeah. No. Oh, my wife is all about Dr. Pimple Why? Popper. Oh I don't my know, dude. God, that's that so makes me uh, want to hurl. I do whenever I she I'm like, what are you watching? And she shows me, I'm just like, I'm just like, what are <laughs> yeah, you doing? Do She's like, it's that. so cool. I'm just like, that's fucking yeah, no, gross. No, I'm already sick. Yeah. Cuddles. I get nothing but hot goth chicks and food. That's a that's a good timeline. It's a good timeline. I get yeah, I get a lot good of balance. I get a lot of cats and dogs doing funny shit. Yeah. Hot so. go- nothing but hot guys. Like yeah, you're outing good. yourself for some really life. weird shit. No, man. Oh, I yeah. I love cute animals. Fuck off. <sighs> Look. Okay. Let's move on to our <laughs> first topic before we get to the good stuff. We had I think that was good stuff. A, it was it was pretty good. <laughs> it, was, it was something. We yeah. had a we, we got one trailer this week. Uno trailer. But it's a big awesome. one. It's yeah, a big, big one. trailer. Uh, <laughs> uh now the look like did you see the leaked version? The leaked version had a little bit more content. Sure did. Yeah. And a lot. Actually, I, I really liked the leaked version, even though the angle was all fucked up. And yeah, that, Batman showed up in that one. That was, that was, yeah, I feel like that was before <laughs> they edited it. Van that Affleck was and Jennifer Lopez were like, dude, dude <laughs> get off my boat. Can but we talk about the leaked out. version afterwards? Yeah, I think oh, we can. sweet. Absolutely. Yeah. Some, Absolutely. It did have some cool stuff. There was know. some really good stuff in there. But let's check out the, the trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at ex-con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. People still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. 
turn it off. Now! Something I never told you. This place. It isn't what you think. I can get you home. And give you more time. If you help me, so what's it gonna be? Batman. What movie he was in? Oh, is that the one that was How on did they Netflix? Fall? Dude, it was so yeah, good. Dude. Was it? Yeah. yeah, we watched it. We we did a review. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. He was now. great in that. Yeah, John of the Majors. John yeah, of the Majors. I mean, that, what more can you say? We're really excited about that. But, um, I mean, we there was a version of this that was leaked about a month ago. Was mm-hmm. it from D23? It was from D23, it was? yeah. D23. These nuts! Was able to check it out. Sorry. Um, there There is some differences between what we just saw here. Actually, a, a lot of differences yeah. in terms of what we got in the leaked version. A lot more Kang, a lot more of that conversation between him and uh, Scott. But, uh, gentlemen, your first initial reactions to this trailer. I'm going to start with Rohit here. Um, we talked about it. I am i don't know what it is. I, um, I don't know if I'm superheroed out. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think it's going to be good because I've always thought King was cool in the comics. The CG kind of takes it out for me. It's, sure. it's so CG, and CG never looks real at all, like CG environments. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm still going to see it because I like the first two Ant-Man. I, I love Paul Rudd. He's hilarious. I think he does a great job as Ant-Man. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think Jonathan Majors would be great as Kang. So, and I'm sure it's going to set up. This is probably going to set up whatever next Kang, big thing they Kang have. Wars yeah. or whatever so, those uh, Kang Dynasty or whatever it is. So, yeah. So, I'm, you know, I'm not, like, overly excited, but I'll still watch it. Okay. No, I... I think I'm one of the few that have been really excited about this phase. Um, we've gone through that, uh, I think, back and forth uh, for the last few months. But um, I definitely am really excited about this because of Kang, because of Jonathan Majors. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the Ant-Man movies I've really enjoyed. Actually, I've always felt they're kind of underrated, but I I do understand that they almost feel like they kind of exist on their own. So I kind of get it. So it kind of like instead of intertwining as well with everything else, mm-hmm. I'm kind of glad that they're going to use Ant-Man to be like, a really big stepping stone with the Kang saga, I think. Yeah. You know, because all the other stuff, I think, is piece by piecing. Some people have even mentioned that the uh, the things that Miss Marvel has in uh, the uh, the show and Shang Chi with the rings and stuff like that, they think that there's some connectivity to this because well, there's always been that beacon and yeah, stuff like that. Like the rings show up, like I think in the D twenty three trailer or something. Something happened. Like something. There was... Yeah, there were some other things yeah. apparently too. So. Um, it's nice that they're that they're kind of you know weaving that into a little bit as well too because I know people have been wanting that but yeah at the end of the day I, I'm really excited about this the CGI I, I that's a fair argument I it doesn't really take me out too much because otherwise because honestly if you look at shoot even the original Doctor Strange and he had Dora Mamu and stuff like that like yeah. you know I was gonna go back to what uh, Dungeon said there he said this has strong Guardian design vibes and I, I get that because Guardians of the Galaxy they bounced around a lot to a lot of different like CGI yeah heavy places. Yeah, yeah and it, and it was all spacey and stuff like yeah, this, this, this definitely, yeah and this is very cosmic looking though you're on a small scale of course so right. you know again initially I'm really excited about it as well too so um you know hey I get it like it's a lot of CG you know I know some people are burnt out a little bit with Marvel and comic book movies, and I think that sometimes those growing pains are going to happen. But you know, uh, for me, at the end of the day, even a bad Marvel film typically is better than other things I watch, just because yeah. I'm such a fanatic for that shit. You know, so and I'm not always going in looking for you know Scorsese 
uh, right in either. So we got a poll out there in the chat. Uh, how do you feel about this movie, this trailer, so to speak? Uh, rush to theaters to see it. Uh, wait for Disney Plus. Oh, Ooh. don't care. Okay, so Ooh. if you're in the if you're in the Twitch, uh, join that. Uh, oh. And it's damn. Did that thing already? Uh, it looks like it might. Yeah, they don't. They don't last very long. Oh, that well, must have been. So, uh, was that fifty fifty? Well, hey, I think if it you're was. in Twitch, yeah, we're gonna yeah, start uh, doing a lot of polls live during the stream. So awesome. if it pops up, uh, go ahead and uh, I'll didn't do it longer next time. Yeah, if you want to do some of those cuddles, uh, you can do those for five minutes. You know, you know things like that. It, it's totally cool. Doesn't matter, and it'll go away after a while, and then you can just put up a new one. So we're just starting to figure out how to do live polls. Uh, because I feel like we could do one of those brackets right here live during a show, like a mini bracket, and have people vote right here. Absolutely. So we're going to try to do a lot more of those, a lot of more predictions. Very, very cool stuff, mm -hmm. though. Appreciate calls. You brought that up, and it was pretty sweet to be able to do that. Hey, Twans, is that you from uh, Wrestling Fan Twans? Where's Twans at? Which one? Miss Twans one? Ruckus. Uh, I did right see there? this. I'm happy to see Kang and can't wait to see what's in store. I, I for think, uh, thing for me too. I think this. Uh, she's a really good wrestling fan. She's a big fan of like the Michigan guys. <clears throat> she came on to a Glory Pro show and she had oh, all the Michigan yes. crew. Yeah, Twans, what's up? Twitter, Thanks for right? stopping. Yeah, yeah, she's I'm cool, familiar. man. She's really cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks for stopping through, Twans. Appreciate you. Hell yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, the fact that I like the Mario Brothers trailer a lot too. I just not sold on Chris Pratt's voice. Yep. It just sounds Chris Pratt and not enough like he's doing. A voice like if you're gonna voice act you gotta should, should also do a voice i feel like as well yeah, too. I, like, like we were talking yeah. bowser jack bowser Black, jack yeah like that bowser. that sold me i'd like you like can you hear first... a little bit of Jack Black, but, yeah, but I'm not, I don't. I didn't sit there and go, right. "Oh, is that Jack Black?" Yeah, but then when right. when you knew it was Jack Black, you were like, "Oh, yeah." Kinda, Chris Pratt kinda was just all like he was. He was starting it like, like he was "Oh, bored. it's me, Mario. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. is going on? Where here? is Gamora?" I was like, "Oh my God, really?" But you know, some what will happen is that the interwebs will get a hold of it after the movie comes out, and they'll. Re, they'll edit it with someone that will take his action. voice yes. and use like a, a yes. modifier or something and just really yeah. they fix make it Sonic. better. <laughs> <laughs> they they did Sonic, so yeah. I don't know. Uh, but no, I, I actually I, I like this trailer. I thought it was pretty. I, I did like the leaked one a little bit better. Yeah, not so much music. And like you said, we had a lot more of a it conversation. Felt dark well, for that leaked well, one. The leaked one was, yes. and then he goes because there was he says to Ant Man, he goes, "I need you to fetch something that was stolen from me." Yes. So people think that it's uh. Michelle Pfeiffer's character that she was probably doing some dirty stuff down there while she had to survive, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, she probably stole something from Kang. And then they're thinking his chair that helps him travel through time, mm -hmm. and that's why he's maybe stuck there. And then when he shows Ooh. up, uh, the, one of the reasons the tone the tone was very dark was that he goes, "You're an Avenger, huh?" He goes, "Tell I me, have I part. killed you yet? Have I killed you yet? Yeah, that yeah. was my favorite part. Yes. That whole interaction when he's like, he goes." After a while, they just blur all together, and you're just yes. like, "Damn, how many Avengers does he yeah. kill?" But so, that that part of the trailer was the thing I really liked the most yeah. about the interaction. Yeah, are you an Avenger? Have I killed you before? And that's why I was when I saw this, I was like, "Ah, oh, you know, okay." It doesn't have it doesn't carry the same yeah. impact. It but, doesn't. But then when, when that, that when first he says that, like, oof, and then Ant Man because he's like, he goes, "Have I killed you before?" And Ant Man's like, "Or are you an Avenger? Have I killed you before?" And Ant Man's like, "What?" Like yeah. he he's like, "You're like really?" Like he has no idea. He has no idea. And I was like, "Dude, that's fucking awesome." And now there's multiple kings, correct? He said there are multiple variants of him, yeah. Oh, uh, on yeah. Loki, he said there's multiple variants of me. Well, yeah, the, the the man of the end or whatever they call that guy. I can't even think of his name, our fan. But, um, yeah, he talks about, like, wait till you meet my like that, you know, because yeah, this yeah. Kang could be this is, a totally different Kang. Well, this is, I'm guessing, because he, he did Kang. say, he did say you, there, there is one Kang that you need to be concerned about. I think if I remember correctly oh. on Loki, he mentioned there are, so, or maybe he said there are some Kangs that you really need to be concerned about. Right. So I mean I'm I'm assuming this is gonna be one of the ones that he was warning. I'm gonna about. guess this is probably the king. I mean, it could, we could be swerved on it. It could be just another bad king, and there's another worse. King maybe out this, there. maybe yeah. the worst king was the one that's stuck in the quantum realm, and all the other kings are out doing their thing. And well, like maybe that's the worst wants... king is the one that he talked to. Yeah, that's what. I'm, maybe yeah. he's like, yeah, the worst one you got to worry about is actually me. Right. I mean, yeah. 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 Uh, someone said Modok's supposed to be in this too. Yeah. There uh, was in the in the leak trailer. <laughs> in the leak <laughs> trailer, somebody was able to stop, it and it says it looks like there's a shot of Modok. Oh. There's something there that indicates that Modok. The is rumors there. have been that Yellow Jacket's Modok because when he disappeared in the first movie, he got sucked into the quantum realm, I think, and then he ends up. Oh being yeah, MODOK. there was some. Uh, 
weird when people slowed them up. There was some weird things that people yeah. were like, oh, this could be this or that could be right, that. Right, yep. right, right. But then there I was also a theory that. out there that could have been Bill Murray's like uh, vibration collection or whatever vibrator. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Thoughts on Bill Murray? I mean, we knew like about six months ago, Bill Murray was doing an interview and he he let it leak that he was like, oh, I actually just did some Marvel stuff, and, and they were like, what? And he goes, I don't think I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> and that Bill Murray just like whatever nonchalant. Tom Holland. Yeah, yeah, you know, he it's just Bill said, Murray. He what are they gonna do? Yeah, he, he, it's yeah. Bill Murray. Yeah, I mean, he's exactly. kind of a made man in Hollywood. Yeah, you, know? you, much. you don't fuck with guys like Bill Murray, Harrison Ford. They just kind of do whatever they want. They can say what they want because. Yeah, they've been doing it for long enough, and mm-hmm. they're and they're, right. and they're and they're made guys. But your thoughts on Bill Murray? I mean, you're kind of. Uh, I don't care, but not to say like in a bad way. Like it does nothing for me. I sure. think it's just like. Do you oh, think it's that... more of just a cameo than no, yes. a, a yes. substantial yeah. part? Okay. Yeah, I do think that, and maybe he'll play like, like a, like a, a, a very off side character. You know, like Howard the Duck was. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think it'll be like. Yeah. So I, mean, I think it's this cool, is just but... a way they kind of like mortalize these like some of our favorite actors. They yeah. just kind of bring them in. It and... could be like a Jeff Goldblum thing though, where he's like that weird side character. Yeah, that's yeah. Pops in and out, you know. So yeah, maybe yeah. I could be of some assistance, like in Space Jam. He just shows up at the end <laughs> and just helps everybody <laughs> right. with stuff. Uh, but Tony, your thoughts on Bill Murray? Eh, kind of cool. Or? Yeah, I mean, I, I like Bill Murray just like anybody else. I think it's kind of cool. Um, he's definitely not probably one of some of my first that I go to. Like, oh, really? I'm not like over excited that he's in the MCU. Sure, I right. think the Guardians trailer version that that character I'm really more excited about just because I love the premise <laughs> of that. But, um, no, yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. It's cool. Like, I indifferent on it. I do love Bill Murray, but as far as the MCU goes, I'm I'm more concerned about. King in the yeah, yeah, I, and I'm with you guys. I think this is just one of those things where he just, you know, it's just Bill Murray, just for the sake yeah. of Bill Murray, and to provide some levity, you know, because Marvel movies always got to have some form of levity, and nobody does dry humor, mm-hmm. you know, better than Bill Murray. That's true. Uh, well, Rockets asks, uh, are they going to do a Howard the Duck movie? There were rumors of that at I, one point. I think it'll be a Disney Plus if they do Howard the Duck. Like a special I can't presentation. See them, yeah, I can't see them putting that in, in theaters. You know I, mean? I don't. Yeah, I don't know if Howard. I mean, especially after the the, the one from my childhood, which now does not it does not hold Howard up. Howard well the Duck. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, no, that that that's such a that's such a hard movie to watch. Now it's just it's just so it's, bad. Yeah. But I mean, maybe they could maybe that could do for Howard Duck the movie what Cobra Kai did for Karate Kid three. I mean, terrible movie. Yeah. But maybe bring character back and Old girl do on Disney back, uh, uh, or Leah Thompson yeah, and Leah Thompson. hey, are we gonna get Tim Robbins? Because Tim Robbins is the net, that's the the nerdy guy that she's rolling with. Oh, that's right. Tim yeah. Robbins. I don't think they'll get Jeffrey Jones back. In I think Dark Overlord. I think now that we've yeah. got the multiverse untapped, I think if they do a Howard the Duck, he should do a Deadpool and go back and kill the character from that movie. I that can Howard, see that. That yeah. would be funny. I but think, it's the yeah. actual like puppet or whatever they use yeah yeah that's what it <laughs> is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The goofy ass uh the eyes from like chuck e cheese or whatever yeah. Yeah. i actually didn't mind i still don't mind that design but maybe because i grew up with like muppets and stuff so it doesn't bother me I, yeah no he wasn't the issue it was just just the movie was the bad. movie itself yeah. is just a really i mean as a child i was like oh my god this movie's fucking incredible <laughs> apparently we have a big fan obi-ron is a big fan of howard the duck out there that's the first time oh, yeah. he's <laughs> Wow. He's mad. He's mad. Did you just call Howard the Duck horrible? Blasphemous. Hey, look, man. <laughs> look, I spent a lot of time supporting that movie. I made my parents watch that movie. I- I've watched it now. Still it's- has a duck fetish. Yeah. <laughs> I do. You said about no. Heavy Penny. But, like, like, I look at Howard the Duck the same way I look at the original It movie. You know, as a child, yeah. huge impact on me. Right. Going and watching it now, eh, right. cringy there's at a, times. There's a ton of movies, like... Like I like the live action Fist of the North Star movie. It's a horrible movie, but for whatever <laughs> reason, I love it. But I can sit there and admit, like it's a bad movie. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I would never mm-hmm. fight anybody. It's a great movie. No, I I liked it, but doesn't <laughs> doesn't mean it's good. Right. You know what I mean? It's terrible, right. but I I love it for some weird invaders in it. Big Man Vader. Big I just, Man Vader's in yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know why. What's just... a shitty eighty mo- eighties movie that is roundly rejected by most people that you were just like secretly like? Does it have to be 80s or can it be 90s as well, too? I'll, I'll allow I'll allow 90s. Okay, thank you. Because I can't think of anything 80s because to me, I package 80s movies as not being always great. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good one. Though. That is tough. I, I, out of like Cobra. Cobra, I was going to say Cobra, Cobra or Commando. Huh? What about Over the Top? Yeah, it's like, uh, it's yeah. like a switch. Yeah, I still like that movie, too. I mean, <laughs> my, I'd say if, if we're at 90s, there certainly is a movie out there that I'm a super fan of that I think is – Highly underrated and deserves more love. Um, and certainly that's going to be Waterworld. So, oh, so I we mentioned just, I that. I mentioned stuck, that last. I should have just I said fucking eighties and not give him the fucking pass uh-huh. to go back to the shit movie. Anything yeah. Patrick Swayze. Dry land is not a myth, dude. Uh, I don't think Patrick Swayze made 
I thought Roadhouse was still a good movie. I think. It I think. Up. I think some of his shittier movies were in the '90s, but you know, like late, like you know, Ghost before he passed. Like some. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Wow. Come I'm on. Just He's a huge I fan. Know. Of the Ooh, Ghost was gleaming good. the cue. Oh shit! Oh, Christian Slater. Man, yes. Woo. Good call there. Man, Glee. or a uh, blank check, but I, I don't think I like that. I still think it was dumb. One one movie that uh, I remember had Duff that was just just it, critically just trash, but I thought it was funny as hell at times. Was Men at Work with Charlie Sheen and Emilio? That's a funny movie. Yeah, the trash guys. Yes, <laughs> just a oh, terrible movie. Yeah. But like at times, every time it's on, I was like, I gotta watch it. Yeah, but you're also a big fan of Navy Seals. I mean, it's awesome. Ah, Navy Seals. Navy I don't know Seals. That. Man, that's good stuff. Gleaming the Cube. That's another. Gleaming the Cube is yeah. That's man, great. Uh. Man, I haven't there. seen that in a Earth long Girls time. Are easy, dude. yeah. Killer Clowns, yeah. That's a cold classic, though. Yeah, yeah. Killer Clowns. I mean, I, I mean, that's yeah. I feel like that's like above, like something like Leaving yeah. the Cube. I mean, that is just established. Good. Does Good Burger count? I'd have to say a really bad movie that I enjoyed was Hard Target with Van Dam. Yeah. I always thought he was perfect. Can I just say anything Seagal made? Can I say anything Seagal made? I remember you come and come my heart out. Come and come my heart out. <laughs> Macy, yeah. his name was Mason Storm. I was like, <laughs> come on. I was a huge Seagal fan growing up. Yeah, I love for Justice. Movies. Hard to Kill was probably my Hard favorite to kill. Seagal movie. Dude, yeah. dude. I'm trying to think Van Damme movies that I really like. Uh, Double, Impact. Double, Impact. Double Impact. Oh, Double Impact. Impact so bad, but I love it. Yes, and I know. Corey Everson in it. Yeah, and I, she was like Jack but hot. I was like, yes. <laughs> she could kill me with her. I would slow down the VH like, when yes. they're fucking on the boat. Ah, when, when do I have some of the best quotes? When do I ever wear black silk underwear, huh? Like, I love it. Jay Hill says Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow, I actually think, is as as ludicrous as the plot like, is. Oh. It's a good John Woo movie. It's bro uh Yeah, uh, it was Christian John Slater. John Travolta and, uh, and Christian yes. Slater. Yeah. I did love Mandel. Face Off. Now how he oh, Face Off. Now, that, now we're, we're beyond like bad movies that were. I mean, Face Off is just a fucking amazing face movie. Oh, so like, you want yeah. me to take his face off? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Power, yeah. Or power or powder? And he said he's, he's talking to Josie. Oh, Josie's trying. out. Josie's out. Dying. Have a good night, Josie, man. Thanks for hanging out. He's yeah, out, yeah. Josie. I think everyone said uh, he was leaving. Oh, no. Yeah, Bloodsport's yeah. great. Man. Oh, yeah, he's got a bounce. Okay. Back, uh, get back to Freaky. the family. Oh, he's going yeah. back to his anniversary. You came here? Whoa. On your anniversary night? Oh, uh, you're sleeping on the couch, bro. Dude, somebody. Uh, he I'm, was shit. You know, make him a VIP, <laughs> yeah, dude. He's, he's going to be a VIP right. in this channel. That's, right, that's, right, that's right, bold. Right. Jackson, you look like a Jackson. <laughs> Dark man. Awesome. Oh, Dark Man was that was Sam Raimi, man. Dude, I actually I enjoyed Dark Man. That's Liam Neeson, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, Liam Neeson was cool. Hey, dude. Oh, I know we're not going to talk about it because you guys haven't seen it, but I just have to say, Tales of the Jedi is so good. Oh, yeah, Tales of the Jedi, that dropped today. Yes. No, is it every episode or is it just? Like- it's every episode because they're shorts, so they're only like 10, 15 minutes, but oh, my nice. God, do they get the point across. Dave Filoni, like, Andor is cool. I like Andor a lot. I understand why some people- I want to get your thoughts on Andor. I like Andor. I, don't, I know why some people don't like it. I understand because they think Star Wars, they think action, adventure, fast paced. Yep. I think you can expand more yes. than that. Um, I so I enjoy Andor, uh, and I love Diego Luna. I loved him in Narcos. Um, I don't have it's a problem. Crazy, I don't have a problem with Andor, but man, nobody knows Star Wars and the feel, the heart and soul and spirit than Dave Filoni, That's and really he fun. shows it once it's again. Consistent here, like Episode Four of Tales of the Jedi. I have goosebumps right now, and. I'm telling you this. I'm not a huge Dooku about fan. DC, yeah. I'm not a huge Dooku fan, but God, dog, man, this his three episodes. Yeah. Holy shit! How many episodes are there total? Three. There's six. Six episodes. And it's okay. you're like when it ends, when it's done, you're like, oh, and instantly you're like, <laughs> give me more. It's that good. Jesus Christ. Like Filoni's the man when it comes to Star Wars. He knows it, Nobody's man. touching him. It's like him and Favreau should just be given the key. Like let them. It's because the same. Filoni, and Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas yes. Howard has a well, a real good understanding of what Star Wars is. Filoni wants to make it good because he loves it. Everybody else, and so does Fav, but the most of them, like Kathleen Kennedy's side, nothing against her. She's a great producer. I just don't think she's a great overseer of Star Wars. Well, she wants... It's an IP. They want to make money off of IP. Right, they're right. concerned about the money yes. first. And the problem with Kathleen Kennedy when it comes to Star Wars is because of the money thing and what they paid for it, for a producer, yes. which you don't usually see, she has her hands way deep into the into way the, 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 into the production cooking. of all yeah. that. Yeah. Like, she's got too much going on. Like, she's trying yeah. to do It's like, sit back. Do your thing when it's time. Yep. Let these guys run the show. And she keeps bunning heads all the time. Uh, and apparently, there there's a big rumor uh, that the main people from Disney said, stop announcing stuff. Because if you notice, all mm. the stuff that they announced, 
half of it has not come out. No. Remember when they had uh, that one the X-wing? Uh, yeah, and that, well, Acolyte's already cooking, I guess. But that Rogue Squadron, yeah, that's off the table. Ryan Johnson's trilogy, they don't know what's going on with that. That Lando series, it got pr- announced, nothing ever happened with it. So it's just like, stop. Like, get your ducks in a row. You're you're ruining get things your before ducks you in make a row. it better. I remember yeah. that when I heard about the Lando series, the first thing I uh, I heard somebody talk about, a couple people mentioned it, and I was like, that'd be the yeah, best idea. Is you go back, like, first. Do like Young Indy. Yep, it's it's yeah. it's Billy D. Williams talking about, you know, old Billy D. Williams talking yep. about his time, mm-hmm. and then you go back and it's Donald Glover yes. mm-hmm. living out throughout the episode. I remember this incredible. one mission this time, me and Han. <laughs> I love how he calls him Han Solo. Han Solo. Uh, what's Han. up, Chewbacca? You still hanging around with this loser? <laughs> hey, Chewbacca. Well, hello yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have here? All right, all right, you old smoothie. <laughs> it's the best. It's classic, man. God. Had somebody mention, uh, what about They Live? John Carpenter's They Live. Man, that half, hour, that half hour back alley fight between Piper and, and Keith, Keith David. Keith David, yes. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Where are the glasses? Yeah, yeah, where are the glasses? <laughs> I forgot it was about the glasses the whole time. I'm not going to wear them. Just, oh, my God. <laughs> they beat the shit out yeah, of each for other. A, it's literally like Let's 20 see. minutes. But that's a that's a Jeez. great movie. That's yeah. like They Live. And, and yeah. They Live, honestly, Stands up well today. It does. With it the actually, social commentary. Oh, my God, it does. Incredible yeah. movie. I think yeah. it would be a lot cooler if they cut that scene when they're fighting in the back alley and do Gold Dust and Piper <laughs> with, the, with the gold Cadillac from 11. <laughs> Is it 11, right? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> That's God. one of my fi- You know, a lot of people don't it really like got that. hit by the car, too. I know, and a lot of people don't yeah. like that mania. Oh I'm gosh. one of the few because that's one of my all-time oh. favorite matches. Yeah, a big Piper and, guy, and, and I love Gold Dust. Hit replaced because of it. Yeah, when he gets hit by the car, he gets really, really got, hit by yeah. the car. That Man, is so good. And they, 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 so good, they use dude. stock footage to yeah. the Bronco from fucking uh, OJ. Ch- oh my <laughs> gosh! God damn it! All right, the end. Yeah, fine. We t- I, my, that was my bad. I totally took us off. No, you're good. No, 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 there, but hey, hey, that's 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 why we do this, man. But Tales of the Jedi, you guys gotta watch it. I was I we was actually, texting him like we'll talk Please. about. Let's watch that, and then ne- so we have two big things that dropped this week. We have the Guillermo del Toro series yeah, on Netflix, it's getting really good reviews. Wait, by what? The, way. the 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 Cabinet of Oddities, Curio- Curio- Curiosities, oh, Curiosities. No, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, oh, two episodes crap. dropped yesterday. Like ninety. Two something. episodes today. Oh. Two episodes tomorrow, yeah. and two episodes and Friday. Like Forty minutes long. I'm gonna wait. And it's scoring I'm gonna, incredibly I'm well. Yes. Once you let him, when you let him do his thing, it's yes. usually well. It's him, he's. Good. I think he's overseeing, but he, he he's brought in like a lot of up and coming. Some oh, some hell, very yeah. uh like horror directors, hand picked yeah. people. So uh, whether they're up and coming or they're solidified, I mean it's it's and it's reviewing incredibly mm-hmm. well. So come Friday, every episode will be available on Netflix. So we'll probably watch that. We'll watch Tales of the Jedi. I'll definitely be watching Oddities or Curiosities or whatever it is called this weekend. It looks fucking. Yeah, it looks really really that. good. I'm gonna so. watch a bunch of horror films this movie. I feel like. Davey so. Gone, thank you so much for that follow. We appreciate you. All right, guys, we need to move out because we haven't yeah. even gotten to the, oh, to the yeah. main event. Yeah. We still got yep, some shit yep. we got to talk about before True. we get to the good stuff. Oh, God. Uh, speaking of, obviously, this is not the good stuff. Let's talk about Black Adam. There I, was a lot of buzz. Now, first of all, how much did this make? Did this? I'm assuming this did really well. Though, 90 million? Box. Did it make 90 million? Was it 90 it million was, it was domestically projected. or 60 million domestically and like 130? They, it was the highest rock film of all time yes it was the biggest i saw that the biggest film for him of all time well they thought it was going to make they said it was projected for 65 no it made like 90 million that's good because i think it was 200 million to make it was it was 200 million so so they probably they did really good i think i think they're like 130 but they said with it was 200 something to make but then you got to figure in the marketing yes and so they got they need to do really really well in order to Make it all. They back. pushed the shit. For, I mean, think of how long we've been having trailers. They really pushed this hard. I mean, oh yeah, they didn't. They didn't slouch on it for sure. What is it? If you get a chance out there, uh, uh, cuddles uh, or trick. It's the, uh, there the we go. Wraith, uh, tricky. Uh, made set. Uh, Sorry to interrupt you. I just saw that. It's it's the wraith. You're the movie you're talking about. Oh, uh, what's the movie with Charlie Sheen where he kills street racers great, with this great movie? <laughs> Great '80s movie, man. That, I haven't even seen that, but it sounds amazing. Five million, he's saying right now globally. Really? Yeah, yeah. So they'll probably, and The Rock, he's he's probably the most well-known person on this planet. And what sucks for me is like people are like, "You mean that actor?" I'm like, "Yeah, I guess that act. They know him from acting now and not." Really? Amazing. Yes, like young kids. They know him more as an actor than how yeah, fucking amazing he was in wrestling. That's yeah, dude. Man. Yeah, that's a whole thing now. Yeah. 
That that oh, I, 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 this conversation actually exact thing come up uh, this week too. Somebody brought that up as well. I was talking about that. <laughs> Cuddle says the guy from Fortnite. Yeah. Was he yeah. in Fortnite? Yeah, he was in Fortnite. The Rock really? was in Fortnite. That's yeah. why some kids are going, yeah. "Oh, that's the guy from Fortnite." Yeah, that kind of shit. So there you go. Jeez. You mean Palpatine returns? That yeah. that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, somehow Palpatine returned. Yeah, yeah. Somehow Palpatine has returned, but yeah. we're not going to delve into that because yeah, sorry, relevant. that was yeah was relevant. relevant. But uh, all right, let's Adam. talk about Black Adam. We're going to talk about it just briefly. I know uh, he hasn't seen it yet, no. so we're going to just touch on a couple of things. Tone, I'm going to let you go first. Yeah, you let me go first. So, I, I will. I will. So I like this much more than probably the four of us that went and watched it. Um, I was clowning with Crash most of the time, of course, because he was sitting right next to me. But um, I listen. There's a lot of issues with this f- film, and I'm going to be that guy for a minute. And listen, I love Batman, um, but DC has had a problem for a while getting out good content. We've talked about it numerous times on here. And basically, at the end of the day, DC wants that Marvel movie money, but they don't want to take the time to build to it. They want instant success yep. ASAP. <clears throat> um, and that's why you know BVS was so bad. That's why even uh, Justice League... I mean, the Snyder Cut made it better, but like you're trying to compound years of backstories and different characters into things in just a small amount of time Mm -hmm. and it just feels bloated and you lose substance then or it just feels forced this movie was loud and obnoxious at times the action which is very dc Mm -hmm. um we got added some great characters that i was really excited about having added we got probably the best rendition of a hawkman i know cw has had him for a minute but like this was a badass hawkman but even like he was trying too hard to be batman at times and like he was, there was a lot of things like, oh, cool guy. You're really cool and edgy. You got money. <laughs> How's your nth metal? You know what I mean? Like, whatever, you know. But we got Dr. Fate, Pierce Brosnan. Like, I wanted more of that character because, like, what we got was intriguing enough. And it's Pierce fucking Brosnan and it's Dr. fucking Fate. So it's unfortunate that they just kind of brought these people in without really any backstory and really without any reason. Like, they were almost like they were, they were Justice Society or whatever like that. But it felt like they were basically like this mashed together suicide squad mixed with jla with no background wallers like go go see what he's doing over there in this country yeah. it's like for what like they could have isolated honestly they should have isolated this movie since it's more of like a, a like a, a an origin story i feel like mm-hmm. because it would have given it would have given the character black adam um to have more built in his substance in his story yep. it would have made more sense i feel like um so it just felt really mashy. Half the movie for the first four. I was sold for the, about the first half hour, first it 45. Was, Even the action, I was like, we're going to get through this action, and we're gonna. Th- I think we're going to get going. And no, it didn't never. because you had a fucking kid element in there, which yeah, I'm sorry. I about that skateboard. It's one thing, with Shazam, yeah. it's one thing yeah. with Shazam, but it's another when you have a kid in a serious situation just being a fucking kid as the main driver to push somebody. Like, it, it, it can work in the right scenarios if the substance and the story is there. It was not in this sense. It was really like I get what they wanted to do, but because they were lacking elsewhere, it just didn't come through very well. And that and th- so far, this is me being nice about it, because I did, after all, at the end of it, enjoy it. The the, the endings were really weird. I say endings for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We definitely got like, yeah, we hoodwinked on some of that. But um, I think for a DC film, part of the reason people are excited about it is because, first of all, they don't got a lot to be excited about because the DCU has been a mess. Mm-hmm. You got Ezra Miller over there. I think it's 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 established what kind of audience DC movies right and and I don't I'm sorry but like the people that enjoy these movies just typically want what they're gonna get which is big loud action scenes awesome characters and cameos and that's it I don't think people are really overly overly worried about story there was a hint and a gleam of some great story here and some substance and they didn't lean into it and that's a goddamn shame. Shazam, the equivalent of this character in some way, kind of the polar... Yeah, that's a great film. That's an amazing film. I'm actually excited about the sequel. I got a feeling the sequel might be a little bit of a dud, but the first film was a great film. I was excited about this, and I'm always excited because I'm a big rock guy. He's one of those characters, I'm sorry, not everybody agrees with this, or people... He can really do no wrong for me. He's always going to be entertaining. Is he rock sometimes playing rock? Absolutely. But there's some... He's got that presence. Right, but there's there are times when he's allowed to, like, stretch out his acting chops... He can act. I even thought that he was great in that that jungle movie that came out in Disney. Like mm-hmm. he got some acting out of here more than he did in this. Was it the center tr- jungle voyage? Cruise. The center jungle Cruise. Cruise. Jungle oh, Jungle that Cruise. That movie jungle was Cruise. A, that was an entertaining jungle movie. Jungle Cruise. Yeah, yeah. This, I mean, you look at the uh, the Jumanjis. He's yep. entertaining, but he's fun and he, and he's funny in that. And he's he's entertaining. This movie was entertaining in some ways, 
but because of everything else going on, it gets lost in the shuffle there. And honestly, at the end of the day, I will say this. It's definitely better and more enjoyable than, than Aquaman to me. I didn't really care for Aquaman. I thought Aquaman Aquabro. was pretty shitty. Um, <laughs> B, I think it's better than BVS because that, that was a hot-ass oh, mess. Oh, so that was a hot-ass mess. The CGI in this still looked like DC CGI, which wasn't great, but it was still better than some of the other entries. So I feel like I understand why people are enjoying it and it's getting high ratings because it's The Rock. It's a, it's a darker character, though. Like <clears throat> it, it, He's more of an anti-hero, which is a little weird because he's not typically... Mm-hmm. Um and again, there's nothing else they've got to be excited about. So, you know, kudos, right? Make some money with it. I would rather, like, honestly, because it's not like fucking Aquaman, Batman, and all the other main characters. I'd go for another movie of this, and I want to. I, I don't give sh- Aquaman two is probably coming out. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, I won't. I don't give a fuck. I won't <clears> see it in the theaters. So that's how I feel about it. At the end of the day, I think everybody should watch it. It's it's enjoyable. I found some entertainment in it. Um, but it comes with a lot of faults, and I fully am aware of that. And depending on how you intake that, <laughs> <laughs> now look, I'm not gonna sit here and say Marvel. Every Marvel movie is a fucking home run. Okay, Marvel has stumbled at certain times here and there, but Marvel has done a really good job at establishing how to explore characters and how to build them up over a series of movies, like over the course of time. That's how you develop your investment in these characters. That's how you learn to appreciate when they're there and their storylines and their motivations. You build that up over time. And, Tony, you mentioned that. Like, DC just has this thing where they're just trying to hit a home run every time Mm -hmm. and just shoehorn everybody in and be like, you know who these people are. Mm -hmm. Now, look, this is going to be a theme for a lot of the conversations we're going to have tonight. Yeah. These guys, or there's people out there who know DC comics inside and out. I am not one of them. Okay? I didn't read all the DC comics as a kid. But I can still go to a movie and, and enjoy it for what it is and hopefully get the exposition and the story that I need to like the characters that I'm cheering for, hopefully. This is just another fucking DC movie that focuses more on indiscernible, like, act, over-the-top action where you don't know what's going on. A lot of noise and explosions and shitty slow-mo and it's just like, okay, 60 fucking minutes of that before we get any substance. The slow-mo shit, dude. But, but I don't know why, I don't know why they call her I don't know why they call her Cyclone. It should just be slow-mo. Her name should be slow-mo. Every time there was slow-mo, it was when Cyclone was yeah. doing her little twist oh. and, and her little hand thing. But like, so it's over the top action, nonstop, no substance. And whenever we do get to the substance, 60 minutes into the movie, yeah. it's not enough to make me think that was worth it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, and, and now you talk about, like, these other characters, Hawkman. You know, going coming into this, I don't know who these people are. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who Hawkman Dr. Fate is. I watch this movie. Hawkman is a budget Falcon. <laughs> Dr. Fate is a budget Dr. Strange. That's all I get. That's, that, that's all I'm able to glean from what they tell me about these characters. Cyclone looks like Princess Meridia from Brave. That <laughs> and a mix between like the the Wicked Witch of the East. I mean, or whatever. seriously, that's all she looks. I'm like, okay, it's or a girl from Brave in live action form. Cool, yeah. Disney, I get yeah, it. Sure. Or not, not Disney, but and then you have um uh was that uh, Adam Smasher? The only thing I know about him is that his his uncle is the Fonz. Hey. Uh, Henry Winkler shows up as his uncle. I was like, R- okay, random cool. cameo. And, and so you have the Justice Society, which I I'm sure is probably a big part of the DC universe or DC Comics, the Justice Society or whatever. I don't know who any of these people are. There's no substance for their seeds. Right. And then the other thing that irks me about it is like Hawkman and Dr. Fate had these moments where you're just like, boy, these guys have been through a lot of shit together. Yeah. A I lot of shit together. Where's the backstory of that? Oh, they're like old friend. And, uh, you know, they're saying all the, the, the things you'll say, old friend, we've been through so much. I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to see you. this, this is that. And I'm just like, I wish I knew the substance beyond this stuff. Mm-hmm. And then, and, and then they do their final you know, farewell or whatever. And it's like, dude, I go back and I think of Game of Thrones when uh, after Dinklage has sold out Varys and they have that moment where he's like, goodbye, old friend. That hit me hard as fuck because I just went through eight seasons of Varys and Dinklage, Tyrion, doing their thing. They've Mm -hmm. been through hell together trying to keep the realm, you know, intact. So when they say their final goodbyes, you're just like, man, that's fucking deep. Yeah. Even though that season was a shit show, the Varus scene with with, with, yeah. with Tyrion was so that hit me so hard because you're just like, man, these dudes have been at it yeah. for eight seasons. 
and you're expecting me to give a fuck about Dr. Fate and Hawkman? Yeah. <laughs> They're doing this farewell bit, and I'm just like, wrap it up, dude. I don't give a shit. I don't know who you dudes are. So the whole Justice Society thing, the, the development there is so weak. And then I want to talk about The Rock for a minute. I love The Rock. I know, a lot of us know, what The Rock is capable of. You look at movies like The Rundown, Ballers, Walking Tall. These are movies that require him to act, and he shows that he can do that. He can go, he can be an act. We all know he can do action. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to these action guys, you're like, can they do anything else? Yeah. And these movies have shown that The Rock is capable. Mm -hmm. And that's what pisses me off about this. Yeah. I wanted to go see this because I was like, okay, look, it's DC. I got The Rock. Right. Cool. All this guy does is scowl and yell the whole time. One uh -huh. word, a couple sentences here. Just you like. get a little bit of substance 60 minutes in, too little, too late, bro. Mm -hmm. You've wasted The Rock. You've wasted this character. You've wasted the Justice Society. And I have a fucking headache. Because mm -hmm. this shit has been blowing up the whole time. Yeah. And then you talk about the fucking the, the, the fake out ending. And then the fight with fucking Satan to, to make up for it. It's just like, okay, I get it. He's a badass. But there's so many issues I have that led to that. You're just like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it, and it's just a waste of talent. It's a waste of the rock. These are characters I'm sure are probably fucking awesome in the comics. I don't know anything about them. Mm, yeah. And you're sitting there trying to get me all hyped about it. And I just can't get into it, man. I, c I couldn't get into it. it was a, I don't want to say it's a horrible movie, but I was really disappointed with this movie. It was a major disappointment, considering all, all things considered what the DC EU has been through. I mean, look, we've got the Wonder Woman's in there and the Aquaman, uh, Aquaman and, and obviously the Shazam movies. Yeah. But fuck, dude. I mean, there's at this point, everyone thinks the DCU is kind of a shit show. Well, I was Boy, excited about Wonder show, Woman 84, really. and that ended up being a dud. That was that I love it. I love the first one. And then, you know, like bad. I said, Aquaman, and then you've got just all this stuff that continues to come out at this point. So, like, for me as well, too... I think everybody as well is like, hey, we're finally getting another DCU movie, and it's got The Rock in it, and it's Black Adam, kind of a darker character. This should be exciting. And they, it, literally, they had a, this had a lot of potential, and they dropped it. I saw somebody mention, so they should have done an HBO series, is what they're saying. Maybe. Maybe with the JSA, too. Honestly, and then uh, Miss says something about they should have introduced the Justice Society in previous DC movies. Exactly. That's the point. Like, if you could have... That's the problem with DC is they don't think about those things yeah, about just that trying long to get term. Them on screen. Right. You got to add that. And you think about that with yeah. Suicide Squad, yeah. the newest one. John Cena shows up as Peacemaker. Yeah. I don't know who fucking Peacemaker is, but then the show comes out, and now I'm a fucking Peacemaker You got guy. some context at now, least. Now, yeah. I, I do think it's a little bit different for Suicide Squad because they kind of just give you a bunch of ragtag people, mm -hmm. and they kind of give you that quick backstory with each of them. Um, so that, I thought, was... Because they still focus around them a lot, but like Justice Society, I, I can see that. Like, why are they, why why should I care about these people? And you want to because they're like legitimately like if you do if you even know a little bit about DC and not everybody does and that's fine. But Hawkman's a pretty big character, big character in DC yeah. and has been for a long fucking time. Yeah. yeah, and like I didn't mind the guy playing him. No, I thought I thought I think, any, he's, I think he's a good actor. Matter of fact, I thought the yeah. character looked fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. But it was just like. You you couldn't care about things because like and, and Doctor Fate looked awesome too by the way like yeah, the fucking looked awesome. awesome but you don't give a shit about these characters even as somebody who knows them because there is nothing there they didn't give you any story they yeah. didn't earn that send off yeah yeah, yeah exactly they didn't, they didn't dude, earn that yeah. dude I, you, when they were say, when they were doing that whole scene I was just like man I bet you this is probably pretty good if I've seen Hawkman and fucking Doctor Fate in several movies yes seeing the battles they've been yep. through and dur what they've endured yeah. together and the hardships that have come with that. And that probably would have been a fucking awesome, like, man, right. I, I probably would have got teary-eyed. Right. But I didn't get any of that. I just had two dudes that are like, oh, man, old friend, it's, uh, you know, good to see you again. We've been through so much. I'm just right. like, like, what? Yeah. Cuddles uh, asked, the problem is DC's all over the place right now, which has had been for a while. Yeah. Do we think that the, we'll change the new leadership? Uh, we may, uh, we can we touch. We do know that James Gunn, yep. and I can't remember the producer's name, no, are they, taking over the DC work, studios. Yeah, they work together. My thing on that is, like, James Gunn can do James Gunn stuff real well, which is like comedy or like sure, that's a good like point. Violent, a little bit violent and vulgar. But can you can't have a whole DC now? It's not DCEU anymore. I think it's just DC, DC Studios. Yeah, DC Studios. Yep. So 
you can't have everything be like his Suicide Squad. You so, can't have everything be funny. So he's, I don't know. You're right. You know you would, okay, what he can do. Initially, exactly. But it's better than. But can it be any worse than the fucking exactly, been putting out? Yeah. Like at this point, <laughs> yeah. I almost kind of want fucking Hawkman to walk out and tell a dick and fart joke. <laughs> because I feel like well, I'll have more may, substance. You might get that. I, might, I mean, I might get that, right? Oh, uh, Hawkman, you got a little poop on your feathers. Oh, I mean, that happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? You know, fuck it. I just, yeah, man. I, 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 I came into this movie with a lot of hype because I know what yeah. the rock, rock is capable of. Uh, I know better nowadays. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no, honestly, man. I mean, it's, it's really, it's really, di- it's a disappointing movie. I don't want to say it's the worst we've seen from the DC. Correct, Cuddles. I agree. It's not, but it's just a major letdown. It just falls in line with basically the same shit that they just keep putting out. Yeah. And it's just underwhelming, undercooked. And noisy as fuck, where you can't. It's mm-hmm. incoherent action, mm-hmm. and just so many just mm-hmm. decisions made by characters. Where first of all, I don't know who they are, and then when we do see them make decisions, like Hawkman, there's a couple of things that happen late in the movie. You're just like, what the fuck is he doing, man? I honestly think that is a trend slash problem in Hollywood right now. Yeah, no, you have more people that are concerned with the IP, uh, Rings of Power, DC half of star wars and they're just putting out they're throwing shit up against the wall and seeing what sticks and they're thinking that their fan base the fans are dumb that you are going to open up your mouth and consume now some people will some people like it's just a movie stop complaining or just this you guys are taking it too you know what i mean but like if you're smart about something or if you're passionate about something or if you're not dumb and you're not just gonna you're not a consumer you want if i spend my money on something i want it to be good yeah well, and I if guess. it's just subpar or i've seen it a million times i'm 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 out unless it's like arnold which i know i'm getting into if i get into an arnold movie i know what i'm getting into yeah you know, you know so what I expect. Expect, i'll pay for that because i enjoy it it's not shakespeare and i would never argue yeah, you know you're not is. going there going exactly. i want my wits tested here right you know, but that like... at least i know i'm getting into that but if i'm thinking comic book movies they've already the bar has been raised yeah. so if you can't even get close to that bar you're just putting out shit and uh i think that's a problem with hollywood so many people there are so disconnected and the people that are in charge have such like the, the hubris is unreal mm-hmm. and 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 i'll talk about that when we go to rings of power oh, like absolutely. the show runners or like the same thing that happened with Last Jedi is like they attack the fans. Some fans are assholes on both sides. Oh, absolutely. But absolutely. some, like people that are in the middle that just want good quality product. They're passionate. They still, and they speak up, they still get attacked. Oh, you're mm-hmm. this, you're that. Yeah. It's like, no, nah, man, I just don't want you. I'm not going to sit here and have my intelligence insulted. So I think that's what DC's that's been point. doing for a, a long time. Mm-hmm. Oh, Superman, we're just going to throw this out there. And you're going to like it. No. You know what I mean? And I think part of it, though, too, is that there's a lot of DC fans out there that don't like Marvel, that are big DC fans. And they're just going to be excited they're actually getting content. So so there's almost there's almost like a skew. I think there's some skewed out there, too, because I feel like this might be clearly not a well-written story. Like if you, if you stop and think about it for a minute, this is not a well-written story. Like it's just not, I mean, you know what I mean? Like you, sometimes we have to like sit down and have them hard talks about things we even like, like, yeah. is it a good story or not? It's really not. Can you find enjoyment in things like that? You absolutely can, yeah. but you still have to be realistic too. And I think at this point, like with everything going on and what they're getting, they're just excited. They're still getting content because you know, with all the stuff with Warner Brothers recently and all the stuff up in the air, mm-hmm. you know, the question I have with that are people fully being honest about that night because it's sitting at ninety percent with 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 audience scores, and maybe they are, you know what? And hey, maybe they found more out of it and enjoyment than we didn't because it is their product, I guess, you know. But at the end of the day, as somebody who just wants to enjoy all of the things—a good story, good comic book movie, good good actors, good characters—it mm-hmm. just didn't hit a lot of those marks. I think, I mean, I just, and, you know, what actually I, Cuddles hits it, I think, nail on the head. You can introduce new people without a backstory. You just have to do it the right way, and Black Panther is a perfect civil example. War. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that is true. I mean, I think a lot of people fail in a lot of ways introducing their characters or trying to have their characters be a certain way, and uh, they don't get it. Mm-hmm. They, it, it. They're just doing it like, oh, if we do it this way, people are going to care, and they don't because you haven't made them care. Right. right, like we cared about Black Panther's dad. Obviously, it's his dad, mm-hmm. but uh, they did it in a right way, and they probably could have done it with Doctor Fate and Hawkman, but they probably just did it so 
said, like, they didn't earn anything. You just, you yeah, you just skip over so much yeah. shit, and you're just like. Yeah, I can see that. I can imagine how awesome their relationship was. You know, can we get a Justice Society uh, origins movie at some point to yeah. explain well, it? And if they yeah. were but trying, I feel like to, you're doing when you're doing it that way, you're doing it backwards, right? You know? And if, if yeah. they're trying to be edgy about it, because really, when you thought about it, like almost at first, like from a perspective, like if you're Black Adam, like I'm trying to deal with my shit here in this country that's going on, and so are these people. And she even mentioned she's like, "Well, we've been in civil war for six years. Where the fuck you guys been then?" Right, right. You know, right. basically, and that's the thing. These guys come up like they're badass police, but realistically they kind of come front and like they're kind of knocking on the wrong door yeah. so i think that's cool they mentioned that though because a lot of movies don't mention that you know what i mean yeah like hey we've been doing this forever how come yeah. you haven't helped out exactly you want to help well, out? that so that's cool that and that was one of those that. small glimpses yeah. into that movie because even the beginning when she was trying to find away. stuff there there were they were there was some groundwork for potentially a good story mm-hmm. with her character just she didn't need her kid around for sure but right. you know what i mean but they missed the mark on it so i digress i'm surprised uh the rock didn't have more say, or maybe he did have more say, and he just doesn't know how to write a good story. So, because I thought he was like really hands on on this, he so. might have been producing, but I mean, yeah. so who maybe knows? He, I, don't, I wonder if he how much say he actually had, right? But I mean, he is, he, I mean, don't get me wrong, he looks cool. It's a cool yeah. movie for The Rock. I mean, yeah. it's he gets to beat people's asses all day. It's just like it just bums me out because first of all, I like development in my my comic book movies. I like to know origins. Right. I like to know motivations a little bit more. And when your focus is just like, okay, look, he can. Beat everybody up. I know he can. He's the Rock. I've right. seen him in his action movies. Someone said he had something in his contract where he can't lose. I thought I was like, that's kind of. Oh, jeez, um, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, that's you. You already put your pigeonhole yourself right there. That's terrible. Uh, see, yeah. man, like, I, I don't, yeah, that 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 kind of stuff. I, I'm just like, eh, that's cringy. Yeah, I, I, just don't know if that's like, a, I don't know if that's yeah. a good look. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I've heard. I will say this about him though: is that he will probably take this feedback that he's hearing from, yes, and he'll he'll use it because. Oh, he, he tunes heard. into the show sometimes. He ends up yeah. out here. You see Rocky Maivia <laughs> will be He's the, the jabroni beaten. <laughs> la, 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 pie eaten. Pie eaten. <laughs> Trail blazing. Eyebrow raising. Yeah. Uh, stronger than a bear, faster than a buck. The greatest thing to hit Toronto because the maple leaves suck the rock. <laughs> he said Toronto. Yay. Oh, God, I love Holly. Hollywood rocks the best, man. I'm sorry. Oh, they're big fella. <laughs> 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 Tony, you watched uh, the Rock show yet? I have not. I know I need to watch that show. Cuddles and Owens enjoyed that the the show about Rock's life. The, oh yeah, the, man! Yeah, it's uh, it I watched some of it and it was kind of cool. And then Young it was, Rock, yeah, yeah I, some good stuff I just about it. it didn't it didn't keep me there. Though. Yeah, I just but I heard that was kind of cool. But either way, awesome. Yeah, that's our thoughts. And we want to get you guys and girls' thoughts. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook and you've seen Black Adam and you have an opinion on it, let us know what you think, man. If you if you loved it. Tell us why you loved it. What you thought made it a great DC movie. Educate me. Please tell me what I missed. Even then, I probably won't watch this movie again. But if you're convincing, maybe I will. You know? Maybe I will. Maybe. Uh, Crash is calling in right now. No, Crash, you're not. <laughs> not calling in right now, Crash. Crash is going to come here and just fucking defend this movie. He's like, I'm fucking. I had to sit next to the fucking dude who laughed the whole time. I was laughing. I was, there were so many things I was like, Jesus. We want to. I do want to point out something to give Crash a shout out here. Now, l- listen, and we're gonna move on real quick here. But Crash is going to the movies for a while. And I'm gonna tell on you, Crash. Just for uh, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. First of him. all, get first him. of all, the cops yeah. were outside when we got to the theater for this movie, and I instantly said they're here for Crash because they know he's gonna bring in food. <laughs> so every time we go to the theater, Crash brings in food some from obscure somewhere. shit. That's some and he, shit. he texts me during the day. He's like. Hey, I'm gonna bring food. He always kindly asks me, "Do you want me to bring you something?" Dude. I'm like, "No, I'm okay." You know, no, movies with you know, yeah, you have to, because like I've seen probably Wendy's. I've seen all kinds of. You stuff. You earned my up. respect this week. Yeah. This motherfucker, I kid you not, and now he's now he's up in the any. He he literally smuggled in an entire box of oatmeal cream pies. Wow! I swear to fucking God, that's, that's amazing. Sweet. That's I swear, amazing. that is sweet. They're probably all warm too. When they he, were you warm want one, was just, they were yeah, warm dude, warm yeah. Boys, dude, yeah. dude. He brings in a whole fucking box of these motherfuckers. So I said, I was so giddy. I I said I wanted to see him like sneak in like a like rotisserie a, like chicken. A, yeah, the rotisserie chicken. <laughs> I originally said I wanted to see a big bite from 7-Eleven. been raised, bro. And then somebody said a rotisserie chicken, and he's up for that fucking challenge. Yeah, he can't come it. in with, like, a Snickers bar or, any, or anything like that. No. He has to come in with something yeah, fucking yeah. elaborate. Like, if you don't bring in, like, a full Zender's meal sometime, I'm going to be pissed. Like <laughs> a that, family yeah, dinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want some fucking butter noodles, asshole. <laughs> he's like, well, here you go. There's yeah, I know, I know. Mashed potatoes <laughs> like, and gravy to slide out of Comes in. He's got, he's got these straws. Jesus. Yeah, fucking gravy. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
It you looks like data underneath. Yeah. Got all this <laughs> data. This data. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, man. But yeah, good stuff. So that that's 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 that. So yeah, I told on you crash. But we appreciate it, man. I, yeah. I tell you what, when I was 60, 70 minutes into that movie, depressed as hell, he was like, hey, do you want a cream pie? And I was like, you know I do, man. Yeah. You know I do. Yeah, and he hooked me up, and I appreciate it. kiss for about sweet. 10 minutes. I was in a much better mood after that. All right, so let's move on to the next topic. We'll keep this one brief, uh, but uh, I think it's important to talk about. House of the Dragon. Woo. Season one. Woo. Did you watch it? Hell yeah, I did. Okay, oh, cool. We can we have a little conversation oh my here. gosh, dude. We can have a conversation here. Yeah. Raheem, I'm going to come to you first, man. Your thoughts, and I'll oh. preface this by saying, you were, how did you feel about the final season of Game of Thrones? I didn't like the final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I don't think many Perfect. people did. Awesome. Uh, I, I, was, just wanted, I just wanted I to solidify wanted that for the audience. So so I thought, I don't think I've ever seen this done before. A lot of people were not excited for the show, me oh, included. I think very very skeptical. Yes, mm-hmm. and, and good reason. doesn't have yep. D&D involved, um, which is a plus. I think... Um, because that that franchise was pretty much I don't want to say dead, but it was like dying. It was hurting. It was bad. Ah, uh, first of all, I gotta give a shout out to friggin' Patty. Uh, Holy Constantine, dude, oh. the guy that played Benera. better get an Emmy. He better get an Emmy. Holy shit! His his last episode, dude. I watched. I've watched that scene when he walks into the throne room. Yes, and his. He takes off the thing. I want you to see me as I am, not yeah. as a king, but as your husband, as your uh, father, brother, yeah. as your yeah, your father, your grandsire. It's no longer grandmother, or, or it's no longer grandfather. It's grandsire, grandsire from now on. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he's like, you must, we just must end these squabbles and they don't do it for the crown, but do it for this old man that loves you so much. I was like. Fuck man, that yeah, guy was deep, right man. now he this, was awesome. This was after he's walking up to the throne. Yes, and his character, yeah, was so, his character was like he looked like a Skeksky. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> Sherry Malone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, his character was so good because he when you first see him and he makes that decision with his wife and you're just like, man, that's cold blooded. Yeah, that's harsh. And man. then uh, but then you see how he just he is genuine as fuck. Yeah. He loves his Real. family, and he did such a great. George R. R. Martin told them. He said he told them he's like, "You're better. You did you did a better job than my book." Yeah, he goes, "You're a better series. Viserys than the one I wrote." Yeah, but um, Jesus. I loved it. Uh, the time jumps made it not smooth for me tough. in certain ways. Jarring, yep. It was very like, uh, but everyone, and I was unsure about replacing the two kids, um, Allison and, and uh, Rhaenyra. R- R- oh, cause they were they were good, so good, mm-hmm. so good. But if you look and I I compare it, and I'm not trying to dog Rings of Power, but if you compare it, how the character growth, um, even with the time jumps, the acting, the writing, it that's how Rings of Power should be. It should be that serious and that A plus at S tier, um, because that's how Tolkien's writing writing is. But um, I love this season. Game of Thrones is back, as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. That last. Scene, fucking Jeez, Amon. That look, Christ. I had. Well, I got chills. Damn right it, now. Amon. Ooh, stupid kid. Now I did. I tried to pay attention because I didn't read this book, and I was very happy I didn't read it because I didn't. I wanted to be surprised by everything. Um, and there are some things that some book people are like, ah, you know what I mean. But they don't stray too far. Mm-hmm. They still keep the spirit and the integrity. Unlike parts of the f- of the original series that would yes, sometimes unlike, go like, whoa. But they even, they kind of had then, to. I mean, that was right, they yes, had to. This right. one, it's it's yeah, hard to make right, that right, because right. there was a lot of characters they they couldn't they had to leave out in the original Game of Thrones. Whereas this, the book is so small. But they did leave one main character out of that. This worm dude, I forgot his name. Not Green Worm Tongue, but uh, I forgot his name. But apparently, he's like like the one that's telling all this but he's not in the show hmm. but um so i tried to pay attention to see what the book people were saying i'll definitely read it when it's all said and done apparently the this story already got they talked about on game of thrones the original series oh they mentioned yeah, this whole story yeah, so oh this was this was, well they just talked about it because uh, a couple characters were having a conversation yes. about it talking about the targaryens and i forgot basically. and i was like oh shit i don't want to remember because oh, shit, i don't want yeah. i don't want to remember how it ends sure because it's all it's already you know said and done, which I think helps. Oh, they mentioned what happens in the end in the sh- on the yes. original. Show? Oh, yes. yeah, more or less. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I think they mentioned like the civil war. Well, it's kind of like Turner doing Rogue Race. One, and then you're you already watching New Hope anyway. Exactly. So it's like... But I don't know how this ends. I thought it was amazing. I thought the acting was amazing. The score was amazing. 
Uh, my only thing again is like some CGI is just the dragons look great. I thought the dragons were incredible. The dragons look great, yeah. but it's like it's to me it's scenery. Like um, this and Rings of Power, in my I, in my opinion, had the same problem where it's like certain scenes where if they're on a boat. It looks too clean. It doesn't look lived in. Yeah. It just looks water and a horizon. Like you don't yes. get to see anything. Or even certain castles. Yeah. But if you look at Andor, Andor looks gritty. It looks real. Mm. It looks like you could go there. Where the Rings of Power and Game of Thrones, their their scenery CG, it just doesn't look real. It looks yeah. way too. It's like the prequels. It looks too clean. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And. I can't believe we have to wait two years for season two. 2024. Oh, but you. man, kudos to them for resurrecting that franchise. And uh thought it was amazing, man. I can't I can't mm. praise it yeah, enough. Same. Same. Yeah. I, I'm a I'm, everybody knows or most everybody knows that since literally episode two or three of the original series, I was a Targaryen fan instantly. Yep. Super sold on that right away. Um so for me, I was super hype about this. And if you go back and look at some of the older episodes and we we're talking about this and you were asking like uh, we got to be careful here. And I'm like, listen, I feel like HBO knows that they're sitting on a time bomb mm-hmm. and that they have to handle this carefully. If they don't come out swinging, they want to get people back into the fold. Yes. It's a slippery slope for them and they'll never be able to do it again. And, you know, we look at the 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 first couple of weeks and the week over week of like increase of viewership. The first season or the first episode was their biggest launch of a, of a premiere of a series, which meant right away. People are still hungry for Thrones, and yes, they probably still had the bad taste in the series mouth, but they wanted redemption. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, Ooh, yeah. even though the time jumps, the time jumps didn't bother me because I thought both actors and actresses of all the characters were really well. Like yeah, I thought they, they did were, a great yeah. job, so it was kind of seamless for me. I didn't really focus on that too much because I think I was so invested more typically, like everybody else, into like Damon and Viserys and things Damn, like so that. Good. And even though I know a lot of this is about like you know Rhaenyra and stuff like this, like I like. It's nice with this series because it's smaller scaled and it's more compact. Mm-hmm. So you get better character development with all the characters because you're not spreading it out across the entire Westeros. Where right. like you got to worry about the Starks, the Baratheons, the Tyrells, and things of like this. You're just talking about the fucking Targaryens and some of the the Valorians or whatever like that. And that's yeah. about it. And that's great because it makes it so these characters when they intertwine, it's much more impactful. You're getting to see this growth and stuff like that as yeah. well too. The you know. the cool thing about it is like every actor on the show is so good. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter who's on screen; they carry that, yeah. they carry that weight. Absolutely. And no matter what they're doing, you're invested and it's mm-hmm. believable. And you're like, oh shit! Like, uh, Rainey's she's dude, she's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. that I know a lot of people, and I understood that too. It was like it was more for spectacle because that didn't happen in the book. Like her popping up. In that one episode, fine. And that like, was a great spectacle. I thought it was too. I was like, it was, ah, she should. She could have ended the whole she, thing. She, she right does. There. She that character deserved that moment. Yeah. Oh, but, I don't know. But yeah, she yeah, was yep. so badass when she popped up and the smoke clears. She was in her armor. Yeah, did the oh, red fucking like, armor on. Oh, I was like, man, God like, damn, her. yeah. And then even like Corliss, like his scenes, his character was so good. Like mm-hmm. you didn't think it. He was like a small character, but he was so good. Yep. Everybody delivered like absolutely 100 so it didn't matter who was on screen they were all just yep. nailing it yep. I, I i honestly couldn't be i was just as excited uh watching every episode of this as i was the original series being excited for sunday night sometimes i couldn't watch them right away but chomping at the bit to watch them um and when they got to the second episode of course and they they finally played the actual song again and i just that's yeah, when, yeah. that's when yeah. i knew that's when i felt yeah. it again um but yeah again as a big targaryen fan as a big fan of uh, just what they're what they're working towards right now, and we already see it coming unfold. And because I love dragons so much, is it's literally everything that I'm wanting. So mm-hmm. I yeah. think, unfortunately, if it was a shitty story, I'd I'd have a hard time going like oh, I really hate the show just because I enjoy the elements of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but man, so far so good. And again, the it's the acting, and and Ooh. and you know whether or not you know we're gonna sit here and talk about George R. R. Martin, his writing and his stuff like this, and clearly Thrones is based off his works, but. Um, you know, when you have the right people involved and they're talking to the people at the, after the show, I just get this feel more than like DB and Dan that these guys are taking this kind of seriously right now. I hope it stays that way. It, yeah, it feels like that at the very least right now. And um, at the end of the day, like especially with the ending, how it ended it just was a complete shock. I wanted more of that episode like that, that hour and eight minutes just felt felt like flew by i wanted more Mm -hmm. uh so yeah it's a shame we gotta wait till 2024 but this is definitely one of my favorite uh uh, series this year so far and man again i'm thrones is back to me so it did fly by 
like yeah, it, this this like, series flew by for me. It did. Mm-hmm. Like some sometimes I watch a show and it's just like, oh, it's, it's like, it feels like it's dragging on. It's just like God, I just want to get through this. But that it was, it felt like it was <laughs> just done so quick. I was like, geez, man. Yeah. And I wanted more after yeah. after that. I was like, I know you're gonna Dude, end it here. And I was like, I know. Matt fuck. Matt Smith, um. Jesus Christ, Matt Smith. His I mean, stock just went up some of the more. stuff that he's done has not showcased his work. Who's that him? Uh, well, yeah, and um, oh, I'm sorry, Morbius, uh, Morbius, um, Morbius, Morbius. Um, one of the one of the uh, Terminators as well too. Um, but Who's you got Who's Dark Fate. He in Dark Fate. He, he didn't he play Connor or not Connor? He no, played, he that played, was a. He played a T something, didn't he? Or no, something, that or? was the guy that played. Um, Jesus Christ. Wasn't Matt Smith in a Terminator movie? No, the one with Arnold and the chick from Game of Thrones. It was not Matt Smith. It's just no, it's not. Matt yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they, I can't keep track anymore. Maybe but he could have been that. I don't um, remember. But at the no, at the end of the day, that that scene when the crown drops and everything. Oh yes. Did dude. you? Apparently, that was ad lib. Apparently, Matt awesome. Smith. Apparently, Matt Smith just ad libbed that. That was so good. And oh, it really? added to that scene. So Man. yeah, it did. It made it like I like to watch reaction videos because I, I, it's like reliving how mm-hmm. I yeah. Yeah. reacted to it. Yeah. And then everyone, everybody, when he picked, they're like, oh, is this, is this Damon? And everyone's like, oh, shit. Yeah, and then man. when he crowns him, dude. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. He did. It was Terminator Genesis. He, was it? Matt Smith was in that, yeah. Damn, what was he in Genesis? You I sure? Thought it, I thought it was the yeah. other, other well, guy. It was Dark Fate and Genesis. Matt Smith was in Genesis. That was the one with, uh, yeah. Well, wait, with, wait, what was Dark Fate? Dark Fate was the one with Linda Hamill. It was the most oh, recent one. The most recent where, where, which yeah, one? Is, is Genesis the one with Daenerys? Yes. Where she plays Sarah Connor? That's, yes. That's and who Genesis. played? That's, yeah. Who played John Connor? Because it wasn't Matt Smith. It was. I forget his it was name. the guy. It was the guy that played in uh, Winning Time this year. Played Jerry West. Oh, uh, Jason name? Clark. Jason, Jason Clark, Clark from yeah. the eight, Man, who did eight. Matt Smith play? Matt Smith played like a, yeah, like the Terminator that. AI or something weird like that. Mm. Man, I don't remember that at all. He played. He played like Skynet, I think, or something stupid. Really? I don't know. I oh, thought shit. so. Yeah. It was a really random fucking role, but either way, yeah, great. Great series. If you were worried about Thrones, this is a great one. Very smaller scale. Good yeah. story. To, I mean, you got to worry about a lot of the other side shits. Yeah. I'm just going to hit on a couple of things that they mentioned. And, yeah, um, you know, the first thing that I really liked was, uh, I think, and I think you guys, met, you guys were kind of alluding to it, is the writers of this show have the luxury of having a finished product to yeah. go based on. Which is Whereas, true, too. And, you know, and I want to give, you know, as bad as the last season was of Game of Thrones, they did a good job coming up with their own path. I mean, that was compelling shit up until the final season. Mm-hmm. Right. So they did a really good job kind of winging it, so to speak, and using the notes that George provided to them. But this, these writers are like, okay, look, obviously we can expect some liberties to be taken here and there, as long as, like you said, it sticks within the, the essence of the book yes. and, 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 and still be respectful of the source material. They have that luxury of going – we have everything here in front of us. Mm-hmm. We don't have to fucking wing it. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, that takes a lot of pressure off of that. So, I, I, I love the story of it. The thing that I really appreciate about this one, though, man, is like they, when there is action, it's really good. But they really took the time to build up these characters, to, to create the arcs that are going to take them forward multiple seasons. I think George said in order for them to cover this book, it would take four to five seasons. So, that's cool. Four to five seasons? Awesome. You know, yeah. if you have everything there. <laughs> if we got four or five more years awesome. of this, no, great. You, you won't yeah. overstay your welcome, and right. you don't have to worry about them winging it. But <laughs> the thing I like about it, man, is they, they just they develop all these arcs. But, man, the other thing that I, I was wondering is, like, you know, after you see Game of Thrones and you see characters like Tyrion and Jon Snow right. and Daenerys and all these characters, you're just like, I don't know. Who, like, other than Peter Dinklage, I don't know who any of these other actors were. And then they come in, and they make them their own, and they make them iconic. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so you're just like, boy, not only do you have to come up with a good story, you have to come up with compelling characters that everyone can latch on to mm-hmm. yep. in certain ways. Well, Damon's <laughs> doing it. And, you, dude, you have – Patty. Dude, you Viserys. have – Dude, Damon. Yeah. Uh, Rhaenyra. Yeah. And, you know, as slimy and schemy as he may be, Otto Hightower. I think Otto Hightower is an awesome character. Oh, boy with uh, the uh, yeah. foot fetish. Yeah. yeah. No, old oh, boy with the foot yeah. fetish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did not see that coming when uh, she took oh, her socks off. No, we did not. Like, they cut away. What is she doing? <laughs> Like, what is she doing? Like, <laughs> Dude, we were oh watching. My, and she, she, I my picked wife, up on that right my wife away. Goes, yeah, oh my like, god! I go, what? He goes, he has a foot fetish. I'm yeah. like, what? And then he starts and beating then off. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I picked up right away. I'm like, the queen don't normally do that. Yeah. 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 But you gotta, you gotta have. I mean, you know, like you said, you know, the Johnson, even Joffrey was a character that everyone Ooh. was like, 
you hated him, yeah. but that's an iconic character. I mean, well, we got fuck, Aegon now. That yeah, little shit. A- a- and then Amon's fucking a fucking yeah, Aegon's a fucking nut job. Yeah, Amon is un. Uncont- is he's a nut job. He's, yeah, he's nuts. I hate how he looks forty years old though. That really <laughs> fucking bothers me. It's just like you have you've established these characters. So yeah. now there's multiple characters that everyone can be like, you know what? I'm gonna get on board with this. I'm gonna right. get on board with this. Now the question, guys, right now, are you Team Green? Or are you team black? I'm, I'm team always, black. Yeah. Always team black. Team black, um, team yeah. black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm leaning towards black, but man, Otto, that's I He's love the schemers. Wolf. I love yeah. the fucking guys who know how to play the game. No, I know I love the guys no who pounds, are but... always seeing right. way ahead. <laughs> the guys who are always seeing yeah. way ahead. And He's that's why mastering the game I'm so leaning far. a little bit towards Team Green just because I like, yeah. you know, the bad guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Team Black, you know, well, dude, the, the, the end of that the episode when Rhaenyra turns around yes. after what had just happened and the way she looks that and you realize. Too? And here's, the, I can tell you guys yeah. this right now. Mm. Damon puts his hands on her again. Oh, dude, what was that? That was another thing people hated. He is going. Apparently, to... he does. He is not like that in the book. He's never. He does not. But but but, like but my point is like that was before this. He puts his hands on her again. I think that's gonna come back. She will fucking end him. Yeah. She, he's gonna fuck around and find out. Yeah. If anyone is going to, piece, I think it's a good point. Da- I don't yeah. like I said. I don't know the book, so I don't know what Damon's arc ends. Same. If if any if anyone's gonna piece out Damon, it's gonna be Rhaenyra. Mm. I think it will either be. Rhaenyra, or it will be uh, the dude with the eye patch because he instantly he reminds oh, Amen. me of Amen. yeah I think he he reminds me of him younger yeah because and everything Damon did he was like when Damon cut uh Damon's fucking head off he was just like he was look he was like oh okay cool you know what I mean <laughs> um the one thing I don't like about the show because this isn't in the book too apparently and I know what they're trying to do but it's like stop trying to fucking fix it they keep hyping up the prince that was promised. Stop. Oh, yeah. Because it reminds yeah. me too much of like they drop that ball. Mm-hmm. They they and, and I don't know if they're doing that because they're trying to have that lead into I think it's the, the John Snow, Snow thing. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. So, because yep. there could be something. Because he's there. technically an Aegon. Yes. Well he is he's supposed well, he to be is the Aegon. Prince. He's yeah. the prince of the promise. Yeah, yeah but so. he was not the one to kill I can't even I'm not gonna go to that. But um, <laughs> that's a whole different rabbit hole. It is. <laughs> but it's like they keep saying that it's like stop, we get it. It's like it'd be like having a new star it's like having Anything like the Mandalorian, and then you build up to the sequels. It's like stop. It's right. that's bad juju. Just let that be its own thing. Right. Don't fucking touch it. Everyone knows that you don't have to keep reminding us like that sort of thing. It's like we we get it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You don't need to beat us over the head with that. That's the wrong thing to beat it unless it does go into John Snow. Snow Seek. So I wonder if we will get two Game of Thrones shows. I think we're going to. Yeah. I think we. I think if I remember reading correctly, there's three or four in the pipeline now. Well, the one got canceled. The one got canceled, one but there are still. I think there's still done, three, three other shows. There's one. There's the Jon Snow show, and I think there's two others that we that they haven't really gone into. Because there was yet. another Targaryen prequel, and it yeah. had uh, Naomi Watts. I think wasn't it supposed to be the old like old Valyria? Old Valyria, which and would be apparently it was huge. shitty because they had it filmed and they said, "Oh yeah, yeah." Not Good. And yes. George R. R. Martin was just like, this is bad. They canceled it. The, yeah, it was almost they, done. Yeah, was almost if I done. remember correctly, because I remember everyone was like, holy shit. They, they, yeah, they yeah. After all the, any money yeah, right. Yeah, they we get the got <laughs> multiverse. There you go. Yeah. 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 They I do remember that, sir, because they were like, this shit was pretty much like. Who stopped acting? Done. Oh, Joffrey. They're talking about Joffrey. He did stop acting. He just got married. Well, he got. Oh, really? Well, no. Part, the first part of it was he, he didn't. It was because of the hate that he received. Well, yeah. I believe it. he did such a great job. He moved out, and, and my understanding is he's like a uh, he's a fucking like. They said genius. he was the nicest one too. He's really? a nice guy, but he's incredibly smart, and I think he wanted to continue his schooling. Mm-hmm. And then they should have just got took another role. Like you get while you're hot, you have to take something to where you don't. get I think he cast. probably made some got money and decided to go elsewhere. Yeah, he it. probably. Did. Then, like, I, you know, I don't, I don't, think, need this I don't shit. think he had done a whole lot. I know he was in Batman Begins. He's the kid that gets mm-hmm. blinded in the city. Or, Gets the uh, whatever the yeah, beat yeah, on, yeah, gets yeah, beat yeah. on by Batman. Yeah, <laughs> beat on. But like he, he, he was just so go- like I, I'm glad he didn't take another character because he like look you stupid gal. Yeah, <laughs> if you hate a character on a show, something tells me they're doing something right. Yeah, and that's great. why Joffrey was just so good. I mean, his so, acting was really good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep, he stopped acting because of the hate and went back to college because he didn't love it. Cuddle said in the middle. So yeah, he did, he, he did the the text there because Alex was who. He basically played Matt Smith played Skynet yeah, in that I fucking don't movie. Remember that. I yeah, because the movie it. wasn't good. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> it was. There oh, you go. Anything after 
what salvation was the, the had salvation was had good. moment. There were moments. It had yeah. potential, but it was the, it was the heart transplant from the robot in the desert that, that did it for me. Was like, was that like, was the biggest oh, problem I had with it. Yeah. It made no sense. It made no sense. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yep. John Connor had a heart transplant in the fucking desert. And all the other ones. That's last how we ended it. Fucking horrible. I feel man. like we should have a Terminator deep dive here one of these nights. Okay. We could. Pretty hot. The first two, man. Yeah. Classics, man. Classics. Choo, 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 choo. I mean, like, I know, I, and the thing is, man, like, I know everyone loves, like, the second one. T- Terminator mm-hmm. 2 is always going to be, like, the pinnacle for me, for a lot of people. I always liked the first one. Dude, it had that weird 80s yes. sci fi horror. And he, dude, feel. he was legitimately scary as a yes, Terminator he was. because he was just, like, Huge. at the time, at the time, yeah, exactly. At the time, he wasn't, like, Hollywoodized yet. You know, nope. it was just this big, muscular dude. Mm-hmm. And his face was just re- like he, I was like, man, he's fucking creepy. In yeah, this. He but by the good. time he gets to T two, he you know he toned up a little yeah. bit, and cleaned up. So it was like, okay, this is the Arnold of Hollywood. And you were familiar with that. Arnold, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. Had the one liners. But you go to back to Terminator and you look at that, and you're like that's a scary. Killer. Terminator. Well, that's why I love movie. my favorite movie is Conan the Barbarian, and it's movie. because it is in the eighties. It's like you never saw anybody like that. Right. You know what I mean? Like your action heroes back in the day were like Charles Bronson. You know what I mean? And nothing, Twitch, nothing yeah. or Clint Eastwood, and nothing yeah. against those guys because I love those movies. Yeah. But then Arnold comes and he's just this hulking son of a bitch that you can yeah. barely. And, and he looks and acts like a barbarian. I'll yeah. give you, you know, come with me if you want to live. Or like fucking, you killed my father, you killed my people. Yeah. You yeah. took my father's sword. It's just like, and then he fucking when they, after they kill him and he comes back. And then he fucking he's in the paint and the fucking one of the best scores of all time. Yeah, it's a great score. Dun, and dun, he's dun. just boom, boom. And he's like, you, doom, doom, doom. He's fucking there and he fucking has that sword and he's just killing people. And everyone in the movie was badass. But yeah, man, Arnold was. Just, I think it, is it is it Conan and the Destroyer? Where, what, which one? Grace is, Jones and Conan the Destroyer. The Barbarian is with him. Which Sand one's Dump. still the Wilt Wilt the Stilt? That's um Destroyer. Destroyer. Fucking James Earl Jones was also Doom. So awesome! Yeah, he was amazing. He was but so good, th- dude. There is a there uh, no, a part of the soundtrack the in night. Destroyer uh, is at the ceremony at the end. Da, 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 yeah, da, 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 they do that actually in oh Barbarian too. It's uh when they're having the orgy. It's it's right, <laughs> right it's right after they he gets killed and he comes back. Yeah. Right after the, the cream the, pie and, and Mako is in both of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the cream pie? <laughs> I guess it kind of was, but he's like, but uh, Mako's like the gods they left or no? It was like these demons are trying to take them. And then that's the martial playing. artist Mako, uh, yeah, and uh, Uncle Iroh, yeah, yeah, okay. he's the wizard. I'm a wizard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was awesome. And Arnold just, Arnold, Arnold just looks at him <laughs> and starts laughing. He goes, <laughs> like that's yeah, just so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What are the flowers for? <laughs> A we girl. Can, we can go ah. all day on yeah, Arnie. Sorry, sorry. We can go all day on Arnie. I can go all day on Conan. I'm gonna ask you guys right now how you feeling. Good. I'm good. Because we're gonna get into the deep dive. Yeah. Here we go. Feeling good? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Everyone's good? I'll just pee myself. It's fine. All oh, right. Oh, you really need to go? Yeah, if you got to go to the bathroom. I'm not the bathroom. giving you that. I'm not giving you that at all. No, I don't have to pee. I'm fine. I'll go to the sump pump. <laughs> no, you won't. Well, you're going to buy me a new sump if we do that. No, one time ain't going to hurt it. Ladies and gentlemen, Cuba. the main event. And in this corner. Let's get to it. Rings of Power. I tried. Season one. I tried. Amazon's one billion dollar season. Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, all that hotness. All that hotness. They wouldn't fuck this up. No. They wouldn't fuck this up. It's your fault if you don't like it. It's, it's on you. You're inherently evil. You're you're a saying. you're a you, you know what? Look, you're a scumbag. Right. You didn't like this show. You are a scumbag. I am going to just start this off. I'm going to get my piece out of the way. Yeah, man. Uh, and you know what? <laughs> Uh, the same thing that we've talked about with a lot of stuff on this show, and that's uh, I love the perspective of things. I have not read a single Tolkien book. I can't read. <laughs> okay, I can't read. Like Green Eggs and Ham and Archie is the most I've ever done. Sitting down for this, I the only thing I'm familiar with. Uh, I haven't even watched. I haven't even watched the Hobbit series. I haven't watched the Hobbit movies. The All I know is Lord of the Rings. Ooh. I love them. Love those movies. Extended yeah. editions. Awesome movies. So when they announced the show, I was like. Cool, man. I'm on board. I'll, I'll watch it. I like those movies. I watched this series. I enjoyed my time with it. It's good. I enjoyed it. I sat down. I was like, you know what? I'll watch some fantasy shit with some cool stuff and, and, and whatnot. And I watched it from my perspective. Again, I know this can be different. I liked the character arcs. I liked not knowing who's going to be the big hero or the big villain. 
You know, and, and, and I talked about this to Tony. And now, look, I am not saying that Rings of Power is on the same level as Game of Thrones. Absolutely not yet. No. But I will say, at the beginning of Game of Thrones, not reading those books either, I was excited to figure out who was going to evolve into what. You learn about the Tyrions. Okay, I don't know. Hey, Tyrions, he's cool. I like him. He's funny. He's this. Jon Snow, he's, he's a mysterious guy. You know, you got all these characters that you're just like, I don't uh, uh, Littlefinger. Was he a nice guy or uh, uh, kind of a scumbag? Ver- Lord Varys, I thought he was kind of a punk at first, but at the end of the time, I was like, I fucking love this guy. I love Lord Varys. So I, I like the development and building up characters, even if they're established in the books. I don't know them, so I want to know where their origins are. Where right. I, I, I enjoy the buildup. And I feel like I got that out of this series. I like the character arcs, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, as, as Galadriel, is it Gal- Galadriel. Galadriel. I understand she's a different character in the books. But I was like, okay, cool. I like this internal struggle that she's dealing with. And, you know, we get to see moments where she is kind of a badass in combat. You know, and, 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 and Elrond and Durin, I like their, their back and forth. You know, the, I, I, I like all that stuff. I was like, cool, man. I'm seeing a lot of this stuff that I dig. And I do think it's a beautiful show. I think it is a gorgeous I do, show. I do. I, it yeah. is a very beautiful show. And there were some awesome moments action wise. Like, uh, I'm trying to remember the village they were in uh, where um, Brown, Brownin and Theo and the other elf, I, his name escapes me. Uh, the one that we, we talked about the first episode where they're just like, oh, you're dating an elf? You know, oh, you're, you know, whatever, this and that. They're in that town, and they get raided by the Oryx, uh, or the Oryx, or Oryx, Oryx. And there's that twist where, like, you find out who they've been really fighting that the Oryx sent in. I thought that was dope. I was like, man, that's, that's fucking harsh. Right. You know, that's crazy. So I'm, I'm watching this stuff, and I'm like, okay, cool. Good developments, good action, good-looking show. I'm on board with it, man. I, like, I actually enjoyed the season. I thought it was really, really good. And so I, I like that, but man, there is a lot that I don't know about the books, mm-hmm. and this is why I'm glad this guy's here, because there is a wildly different perspective <laughs> on this show. Oh, okay. and, and the thing is, man, I, I respect that because, like, look, uh, before I, get, I I turn the mic over, I love The Last of Us. I know that story. I know the 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 the, the source material. If HBO comes out and fucks that up, right now look, they can deviate a little bit. I understand. You, you, there's always going to be some. Got to have some adaptions, yes, absolutely. Not wholesale changes, and that sounds like what's going on here with this compared to the books. Wholesale changes, big changes, Ooh. and Ooh. so like, but I can understand the anger because if they come out and just do some stupid shit with The Last of Us, I'm going to be right here where this guy's sitting, going, "What the fuck." But that's it. Like, I enjoyed it. I think it's a, a, an enjoyable show. I'm excited to see where they go with these characters because I am not familiar with them. But there are folks who are familiar with them. Yeah. And I'm going to let this guy tell y'all about this show. If you like the show, that's good. There's nothing wrong with liking it. It's awesome. Um, I don't think it's the worst show I've ever seen. It's definitely not the greatest show. Mm-hmm. Even if it had nothing to do with Lord of the Rings, I don't think it was a great show. I think the pacing was all over the place a lot of times. I think they tried to pay off moments that weren't deserved, that weren't earned. So I'm, I'm going to try and interject a lot of things, and we yeah. agree a lot of this. Yeah. So first thing I'm going to say is, how many storylines need to go at one time? Holy you could, shit. I mean, how do you keep up with yeah, that? How do you keep up with that? Yeah, but it, it, to yeah. me, Game of Thrones did a good job of keeping you invested and tying them up, where sure. this just kept adding another one and another one and another one. And it just was like, and some of them weren't even, because I know they're, they're, they're waiting on, uh, obviously, they're probably betting on more seasons. Sure. Yeah. But it's just like, it was just like something. There was something new every uh, episode. Cherry says that there was like seven storylines and counting. So foul point. Yeah, and my thing is with this is if if I'm going to cook you lasagna, and I said this before, mm-hmm. and if I don't have all the ingredients, and you really want some lasagna, I probably shouldn't cook the lasagna, right? Right. And then I give you a bucket of 
noodles and sauce, and I tell you it's lasagna, and if you don't like it, it's your fault that you don't like it. Mm-hmm. That's rings of power. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, the showrunners attack the fans. Like yeah, There are some asshole cool. fans, yeah. but there's asshole fans on both sides, yep. okay? That show, the the your your protagonist, horrible. That version of Galadriel, all she does is scowl, like you were saying about The Rock. Yeah. All she does is scowl and bitch. That's it. Threatens people. If she doesn't get her way, I'll kill this. I'll do this. It's like, shut up. You are fucking annoying. Anytime she was on screen, she was fucking annoying. And she was even more annoying to me because I know how when Kate Blanchett, her version, commanded respect. She was, right. she was, uh, she seemed glorious and powerful without even having to do anything. Mm-hmm. How they presented her. This Galadriel was boring. And they do the typical modern day Hollywood trope. Oh, we want a female action hero. So what do we do? We make her like every other generic male hero that we can come up with. Mm-hmm. She does not stand out. They did it in Terminator. They did it for Captain Marvel. There's no personality. It's just RBF 24-7. And, oh, she's just great at everything. Oh, she figured this out. Mm-hmm. Oh, she solved this. It's like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Her character as a, as a protagonist, horrible, super unlikable. Um, and then she was just best at everything. I hate that. It's like a great Ahsoka, for instance, especially when you watch Tales of the Jedi. You see her fail. You see her learn. You mm-hmm. see her earn that. Sure. You know what I mean? She doesn't earn this. And for someone that's supposed to be thousands of years old, she's pretty fucking stupid and naive. <laughs> like, you, you uh, either have her act like an angsty teen or you have her act like she's a wise thousand-year-old elf. You can't sure. do it both because it doesn't make any sense. Well, point. And they're taking Especially things. Especially for elves that aren't dra- – they're not – she was, yes. like, at oh. all like, dramatic about things, and she was. And they made this so – they've made it so – Tolkien's writing is not run-of-the-mill fantasy. Oh. Like you said before, it's Gold Star, okay? They've made this, this show is run-of-the-mill. They did mystery box stuff after mix, mystery box stuff just to keep you engaged. That's horrible. I, I hate that. It's like it's almost like a cheap pop, okay? If you don't know wrestling, it's like when I'm going, like Mick Foley would always do it. Whatever city I'm in, I say the name of the city because the crowd's going to cheer. It's a cheap pop. So they do this mystery box stuff. Oh, who's this? Who's that? What's this? Oh, I got to turn it, tune in this. It's just like, no, man, you're, you're, you're not making a, that's not a good story. Just because you're, I'm keeping you, I'm just stringing you along. Doesn't mean it's a good story. Um, you may enjoy it. That's fine. But it's like, it doesn't make it a good story. Look at Game of Thrones right now. All the characters you can get invested in them. Mm-hmm. They have there's layers. Most of the characters in the show are one dimensional, besides like Elrond and Durin. They do a lot of member berries for the sake of member berries. Gandalf's not supposed to be there to the third age. Um, Galadriel should have a husband. Galadriel and her husband should have a kid. Galadriel should be learning magic. They mentioned her husband, but it should be question. Yes, where's uh, is Gandalf in this? I'm pretty sure that's Gandalf. That oh, guy. Ishtar? Yes. That Istari is another name for wizards. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize that. Th- I, see, and that's why. I'm and I'm glad pretty you're sure here it's Gandalf because he has a connection with the the ho- the halflings or the the hobbits the, the, or the, the, the hearts. Hearts. Who are hobbits? It's just a different just, race of hobbits, <laughs> and yeah. they're not even supposed to be there to the third age. They're, and then the fucking Balrog, really. Come yeah, on, talk about, man. Talk about, talk about Jesus. I remember because I, I messaged no you right thing. away, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, God. yeah, the member berries bullshit. Yes. We, that was ridiculous. And the whole point of the Balrog is third age, and it's because they're they're searching because they're greedy. The whole mithril thing is made up. Okay, that's not even the book. The elves dying. That's all bullshit. The, yeah, even the Silmaril so thing the, with the whole God, thing. The, the, them fighting the tree. That is all bullshit, and that makes me so. It, I oh so See, that's, irate. That's wild to me because honestly, man, that like first of all, when I saw obviously it's, it's not it's not even in the books. Yeah, and see, I think that's oh. wild because like you know it's it's and this that's why I love this perspective because honestly, when I when I, when I saw that when the Balrog was underneath I, in my mind, I'm like, oh oh cool, there's a Balrog under that. The cool. whole point of no the idea. Balrog, it's like punishment because they were mining because of their greed because right. they got greedy they, they weren't mining deep. they dug too deep because they were getting greedy and that was their punishment they woke up balrog and that happens in the third age it doesn't even happen to that Dern. i'm pretty sure 
and well, just it's Sunder, and I think it's yeah, it's, it's one of the Durans because everyone's a, well because it's called Durans Bain, so yeah, that's what they call the Balrog. Many, yeah, there's many Durans, and it's just like stuff like that. Like, and the writers are like, "Well, we respect Tolkien." No, you don't. You are one of those. You're one of those showrunners. You're one of those stupid Hollywood people that thinks you can do better than the source material, and so they had a toy box, and all they did was take these toys and did what they wanted, and that annoys me to no end. Not only did they did what they wanted, but they didn't keep the integrity of the characters. They didn't keep the integrity of Tolkien's stuff. They made it like, and then they did the stupid love thing with Sauron and Galadriel, and he even proposes to her. I was like, get the <laughs> fuck even out I thought, of here. Even I thought that was oh, a little heavy. I was, pissed. So I was like, oh, okay, pissed that on. they turned it into the CW. The whole thing, amateur with the, shit. The whole like, thing oh, with the rings oh and everything God. that Sauron had in it. Oh, in the ring. Don't even get me started on the that creation was like, of the rings. The oh whole point God. about, like, fuck. Even I'm, Shadows I'm, of Mordor did a better version of that shit with yes, Caleb Rimbor yes, in this fucking series. Yes, and that shit's established. And this stuff doesn't even add up to it's. This isn't lore. This isn't. It, you can't call it canon. It's fan fiction because stuff that's already been established. They totally said fuck that, and they did. They created their own thing, and that irks yeah. me the most. Because they talk all this shit about, oh, we respect Tolkien. This is in the spirit of Tolkien. No, it's not. It's like when Kathleen Kennedy said, oh, we're going to respect all George Lucas's characters, and then you kill them all in, well, in shitty ways in the sequels. It's like, fuck you. And that is my biggest problem with this, is that these guys are full of shit. Didn't they kick off the uh, Tolkien yes, historian? They got rid of the Tolkien lore master, and they were like, it, it just it God. pisses me off to no end. If you like this show, good. That's fine. But I refuse well, to support something that's so subpar with the material that mm. is beyond subpar and timeless. You can't do better than something that is timeless and that doesn't need doesn't need your it's, political ideas or whatever fucking stupid shit you're trying to inject it. In, in, like, and that's another thing. The fucking lady who was like the nurse of the village and all of a sudden she's this badass warrior becomes a leader? For what? That made no sense. Like, why would you do that? Oh, God, it makes me it's, so mad. It's mid, I tried to have to it's get this mid tier. Like, fuck. It's mid tier generic fantasy it with is. Lord of the Rings slapped onto it. It that, is. They're trying to pull you in by and saying Lord of the Rings. Than and that. they said, hey, Tolkien, it we got $250 million here. Can you, we get some oh, stuff out of the toy God. box? We don't really care about the other stuff, even though we got a billion dollars to put into the fucking show. Oh. We could pay for all the material and do the proper material with it, right? But hey, guess what? By the way, Mithra was created by a Silmaril during a fight with a fucking Balrog. On top of a fucking mountain. And it's just all this shit that they've literally made up. And then Kelly Rembor and Galadriel. Galadriel's supposed to be. And that's why another thing I had this issue with her, like being this. She wouldn't know that Sauron? She. That's. Here's the thing. He's supposed to be. Sauron gets defeated, okay? They find Sauron and he gets defeated. And then he gets captured by the Numenorians. The Numenorians, on the other hand, are supposed to be like a bunch of fucking Steve Rogers. They're supposed to be. Uh, like superhuman in a sense. They're, they're, they live to like 200 long years of living. age, long lives. Yep. They're fucking badass warriors. They're not... She's training them to fight and stab? Get the fuck out of here. That made me so mad. They're already supposed to have a badass fucking army. And it just made me so mad. Like, and every... She has to be the inspiration. It's like you're doing this... Oh, this bullshit girl boss stuff. You're not letting the story create your character. You're forcing it because you want this. There's so many other in the unfinished tales that they could choose that are strong female characters or great or romance. If that's what you want, there's other stories that they could have picked. And then you get your Amazon. Why not pay for all of it? If you're going to don't take bits and pieces because now you can't make the stew because you can get all the ingredients to the stew. So you make this half ass thing and then blame you. You blame the people that have waved and carried that flag for years. Those are the people that are going to buy your merchandise. Those are the people that are going to keep this shit going. And instead, you shit all over those people and blame those people and call those people. These, the showrunners call these people evil. They call them evil. You have wrote a subpar show. The acting is subpar. The soundtrack's great. It has some great moments. Okay, don't you dare shit on Barry McCreary. No, He's but no, the soundtrack's soundtrack. awesome. But sometimes the soundtrack is, is carrying a scene. Like, there's things that happen... Like the goodbye with the, the uh, what are the, the fucking, what are they called? Harfoots. They're the worst people ever. They're <laughs> so shit. They're just the common people, man. No, the whole left behind thing. They're like, well, you injured yourself, so fuck you. We're going to, they're <laughs> shitty. 
people. And then you introduce these witches out of nowhere. You act like they're going to be a big deal. And they get Ewoks. They get, they get Ewoks. Yeah, yeah. And they turn to ring race. Why would they turn to ring race? That doesn't make any sense. Ring, they become ring race because oh, I, I can't even. Wait, were those really supposed to be ring race? Well, they turned, he turned them. I thought that's, that's what they were supposed to be. Like. Well, the one had the, the yes. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But, but they're not ring race. Ring race. They haven't even got the rings. Numen exactly. They're supposed to be the gonna, nine kings. And then you're gonna tell Keller Brimbor, <laughs> oh who God. is the greatest smith of all time, who's been around for ages, and you're gonna tell him, well, if you mix this and mix that, you are you kidding me? That's like telling like one of the best chefs how to cook. Get the fuck out of here. That, so th it's an insulting show. <laughs> It's, I can't, I can't. If you like it, fine. I'm not shitting on you for liking it, but I hate it because it's insulting to the source material, right. and they don't do the source material any yeah. justice. Yeah. If you, the boys <laughs> goes in a different direction, but the boys still keeps the integrity of the boys, and it lifts up the name uh, and, and the lore of the boys. This show is not Ring, Lord of the Rings. It's a shit show. And I don't think I can do a season two. I can't. I know they already got season two in the works. I can't do it. I can't watch it. I did. I watched this season because you asked me to, and I and I said <laughs> I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna be fair. And there were some things I liked. There were some there were parts I love the shit between Durin and um, Elrond. Elrond. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, that the was reveal the best. of Sauron. Um, I liked Adar. Adar's a made-up character. I thought he was really cool. Hinted at in some lore, but I mean, fucking hated how they did Mordor. They, Sauron's supposed to do that shit. It's like they're yeah. just yeah. making shit up. I think I said it to you the other night. I said the problem is with this because so of the member bad. berries thing. Yes. It's like they're saying, okay, uh, here, here, uh, here's, here's, here's what we want to do. Here's our substance, but it's a mess. And here's where we want to get at the end. They, they just, they just skipped a lot of the stuff in the middle and said, oh, by the way, here's a Balrog. Look at this. Oh, remember this? Here's a Balrog. Uh, they wanted, they wanted all the shiny stuff there, but they didn't want to get you the substance to get there because they wanted that member berries and things like that as well too. And again, keep in mind that Amazon and Jeff Bezos has a lot of fucking money. They could have forked over another couple zeros in the check, said, give us all the works. And if you've, some of you said maybe you've read some material out there. I don't know if you've read all the material. If you've read Lord of the Rings, if you've read The Hobbit. You really haven't read a lot of the material, unless you've read Silmaril and a lot of the other trans, like the unfinished, the, the unfinished tales and things like that, which aren't usually easy to find. That's the stuff that this is st that they're trying to cover here. That's the actual like the connecting the dots here. They're so cherry picking stuff. They're very much cherry picking, but not only the cherry picking, they're literally almost to a point when you think about it. If those are supposed to be ring rates, it's almost like they're erasing. The actual Lord of the Rings films that were more based off the movies than this crap was, because if those are ring rates, that's that can't even be possible because they never even had rings. They're supposed to be the nine nine, nine kings, right? The nine human, uh, right? Yeah, yeah they have the rings that get corrupted. The because that and then that's a whole story because he goes. They defeat him, and then he ends up. Um, and and, and Gilgalad is supposed to be one of the best characters, one of the greatest elven kings, and they have him act like such an idiot. Like even sitting there talking to Durin, uh, like it was, it was like and they were trying to show respect, but like and how often the do one elves and dwarves do that? But especially? he's the one that's supposed to bridge, have the friendship with the uh, the the dwarves, and also he's the one that knows that there's a darkness in the world. And he tries to gather everybody to help right. him. And then, like I said, uh, Galadriel and Celeborn right now are supposed to have a kid because that kid gets introduced to Elrond and they get married later on. Also, uh, Amaya is supposed to be teaching Galadriel uh, magic. And the rings are supposed to be imbued with magic. And they weren't. And it's just well, like... Well, they only did three right away. Like... And what? that's not even supposed to happen either. Well, like, well, well yeah, because I don't remember Elrond having a fucking bit in Gladriel no. helping Celebrimbor, the they, greatest fucking smith in Middle-earth, build fucking rings. Yeah. And Sauron, for the record, too, like, at least he was there kind of saying, like, you know, hey, tempting him, like, hey, use this fucking thing. Yeah. So at least it was, like, lightly supposed to be, but he's supposed to be, like, whispering in their ears, tricking Kellen Brimbor to build these fucking rings and give out these rings of power to everybody. And he's also a shapeshifter, and he, he, he turns into somebody it's else, ridiculous. and that's how he <clears throat> he corrupts the men of Numenor. Yeah, we know what and, the ring rates are. And then uh, Galadriel, when she meets him, she's like, I don't trust this guy. She doesn't trust him, and she leaves. Galadriel's not even in the Second Age a lot. Her and her husband are ruling somewhere else they're ruling a region i'm pretty sure um and so it's just a lot of stuff and then the, the way she explained how her and Celebrimborn met or Celeborn met that is taken from a different story of baron and luthien and it's just like they're just it's not 
like I said, I don't want to tell you that you can't enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. It's you know, and it's good that you enjoy something. I hate it for this reason, though, it's because I'm a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. I'm a huge fan of the Cimmerillion. There's so much great content, and it's not. It's it's very great fantasy that makes you think. It's top tier fantasy. Like it's timeless. It doesn't need some nerd's input. Doesn't need my input. Doesn't need some horrible showrunner's input just from Hollywood that doesn't have a clue and trying to make it better. It doesn't need to be better. All you got to do is from paper to screen. That's it. And if you don't have all the material, don't make a Lord of the Rings show. Do your own show and call it whatever you want. Uh, Zack Snyder is making his version of Star Wars. He has no rights to Star Wars, so he's making his own type of Star Wars sci-fi movie or sci-fi show. That's what you do. You want to make a fantasy show? Do your own thing, but don't take a, a well-known IP and fuck it up and then start blaming Slap fans for getting mad at you. And like I said, the show itself is very subpar. There's time the acting is really good. The dialogue is just like horrible poetry that they try to slam in there. And it's it's just it's not for me, man. And I and I, I'm I don't like the show and I'm mad at the show because like I said, the source material deserves way it's it's almost shamefully disrespectful. It is because this it isn't. Is. This is something that's been around for a hundred fucking years, and the name of Tolkien yep. carries weight in the fucking world. Yeah. And you allow these people to do this sort of shit. Like I don't know how the Tolkien estate feels about this. I know they they're always in a tizzy anyway, so you got to be kind of careful navigating them, and you know what they're going to let you do or whatever it is. But you know that's that's the thing I think about it. Like. And I said this before, this isn't just like it's Star Wars with open areas of time where you can just fill slots in there because yeah. nobody's talked about this here or anything like this. This is a sacred series that has been around An for, path. For, for, for a long ass time. There, There's only a, a certain amount of deviation that you can do that you have to adapt for movies and things like that. Game of Thrones had to do it with like Lady Stoneheart and stuff like that. Yes. Truthfully, that character really doesn't play a big part in the overall arc of the story. That character wasn't necessary. There's right. enough things going on in Game of Thrones. But with something like this specifically, there is a roadmap. And like, yeah. regardless if people are enjoying it and you don't know what's going on with that stuff, you should still have enough integrity to care where this stuff is coming from. And I think that's sometimes where people like me who get worked up about like how they're taking adaptations, what they're doing with source materials, because it has been invested. People have invested in time with these. I read these books 25 fucking years ago or whatever it was you know what i mean so it's not like it's it, 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 like i go into this i want to be excited about it because it's more lord of the Rings stuff but then right. you're not being able to see the things you want you visualize as a kid properly because they're literally taking it taking the pages from the books wiping their ass with it smacking the rings of power on it saying watch and enjoy because yeah. we put a zero at the end of a check for somebody consume yeah consume and this I, and i can't like i have more integrity, integrity should fucking matter at I some have, point, and that dude, drives me nuts. I have more integrity for like that's why I can't get into a lot of things because I feel like a lot of things nowadays are uh have no soul. They're they're heartless. They're mm -hmm. they're they're not made <laughs> with. I could tell when I watched Tales of the Jedi, it was made with passion. It was made with love. When I watched Rings of Power, it was made because they just want money. They want to they want to bank off an IP. Uh, I heard someone say one time. Um, you have a money tree, but you refuse to water it. And that's what I feel like, like the Star Wars sequels were. I feel like um, a lot of, anytime somebody wants to redo a, a well-known franchise or movie or TV show, sometimes a lot of these people just want to do it because it's a well-known IP. And instead of having passion for it, they're like, we can do whatever we want because it's going to sell. Berries. Exactly. And to me, I have no more patience for that stuff. So like I said, if you love this show, that's, great and don't let my uh rant you know ruin that but this is why i can't love it this is why i don't love it and even as a show itself it's very as the cool kids would say mid and um and i just it needs to do better it, it I, I don't know i don't think i can invest myself in a season two and stuff like uh having gandalf or even if it's a wizard the wizards don't show up until yeah. the third, and the reason why I, I, they don't show up through a meteor, they show up in the third age from the west because they're sent from the Maya or the, the maybe even the Valar because Sauron's presence is growing. So they send these wizards, and mm -hmm. Gandalf is the weakest out of all of them. There's five, I think. There's Sauron, Radagast, or Sauron, Radagast, and then the Gandalf, two blue. and the two blue who you never hear about. 
So maybe this is one of the blue ones. Which but were the, the ones is, that go to the, remember they were the ones that got lost in the east. Yes, that was they the whole thing. They corrupted the in the never, east. Yeah. And that which is weird that they mentioned that because I thought that was gonna be a swerve yeah. that they were gonna try and make Gandalf be one of like not Gandalf, but maybe either Sauron or one of the ones of the one of the yeah. blue ones. But I'll tell you what, if those were really supposed to be ring rates, that blows my mind because you can't have a ring rate before getting a ring, exactly. right? Exactly. Like, and that's that what makes I no thought, sense. Unless they were just showing like an X ray and that's what he did to him. But like it looked like they had the crowns. They looked. They look, he, had, they, he had the crowns. They yeah. looked like because that's immediately what I thought when I saw. It. I was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, what you that. looked like you looked like when they put the ring on the rings. The rings. Exactly. Yeah. When when everyone the whole rings of power is Sauron has all these rings made. By and he, he, he makes his own ring, and you know the, is it the, the one you know ring the, to rule them all? exactly the one ring to bind them and all that stuff. The dwarves it doesn't work on them because they're too stubborn. Mm. Um, the elves. They're too, hip to they're, too, they're too mindful. They're too smart and too wise. Smart for they it. get hip to it. They're like, nah, we're not. We're taking these off. And then um, the men of Who Numenor, are the easiest it works corruptible. on because they're already jealous. And there's this whole like religious power structure that happens in Numenor. And uh, I don't even know if they'll do any of that because they've taken such a weird. And the whole thing, they took our jobs. Like, really? Why are we? That's what I mean. Like, you don't need your political social commentary. If you want to put politics in something, do it very slick. They're beating you over the head with stuff, and it's just like, come on. I thought it was kind of cool just how the stop. Southlands. I had a feeling. I didn't realize how they were tra- like. For the record, like the 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 water to trigger certain things was a little interesting. I didn't know. I maybe chemically that's possible. I don't Dude. know. But I thought that was really weird how like they showed the map early on, like with the symbol and everything like that, that it was going to be like the the Southlands. I had a feeling that was going to turn into what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it just like. It it felt it felt like the Balrog. It felt very heavy handed, well, and it felt just so shallow because they just wanted to be able to do that. I always had a problem with like Revenge of the Sith when Obi Wan and Anakin are fighting in all, by that lava. It's like they would get they get smoked. Uh, same thing in Lord uh, Return of the King when they're walking up that volcano. It'd be too hot. So when this volcano literally blasts ninety percent of everyone in the face, and Galadriel comes out unscathed. And not only that, but they're walking through town while people are on fire and just don't give a shit about them. I hate that. And the fact that it was a video game side quest to unlock the it's just that type of shit is just mm-hmm. it's so I just I don't know. I just it's just not God, it's not but good. But it, it just all. felt like Goonies. Like the, the key, yeah. like all of a sudden like they like had this the, the fucking wayfinder Sith dagger. Right, right, right. Yeah, like so like, for how many on. thousands of years was the key and the dagger and Indiana Jones and the Goonies gonna hang out, yeah. twist the thing, water was all of a sudden gonna wreck across the and then trigger Mountain Doom. And then like, when how she the fuck had it in her hand, wow. she didn't think to unwrap it and look at it. Yeah, like yeah. you're supposed to be this badass commander. And you didn't think to look at it, and then when old boy has it in his hands, wouldn't she? Sword prob- would wouldn't she sense that, that too? And like it's just stupid. It's like silly shit like that. Like to me, it's, that's unexcusable. Um, and then uh, the uh, and the king of the Southlands. If no one knew there was no king, like you guys have been around for thousands of years, you would obviously he hear if there's a king promised. or not. Yeah, but they were like, how would you not know that there was no king for all that time? Like it was like thousands of years. She, like they're like, oh, I I did the research. It hasn't been a king in like a thousand years. That's like, well, how would you not know that? How t- would you not the on- so I, know the ongoings in the rest of the world? You I guys have been around that long. Talked about the sword and the key and everything like that. It yeah. was like a fucking shitty Goonie setup. Like, how many <laughs> thousands of years were they planning for that? Oh, twist it here, and all of a sudden it's going to trigger all the water that'll yeah. make this mountain explode. Yeah. Like, what the fuck the was that? Yeah, fucking one-eyed Willie was missing from that part. Um, I didn't see him anywhere. And then uh, there's another thing. Why didn't Sauron obviously know she's a huge threat and he could have killed her, but he just left her. And uh, I'm just like, there's just well, things that don't. It was make so any unnecessary sense. to have him be that character. Like, it's yeah. cool for a plot twist, I suppose. But like, again, that would be great. Maybe potentially, if it wasn't a that character, or B, maybe I don't know, Lord of the fucking Rings. Like, that wouldn't even like he wouldn't even waste his time with that. And they, but did not only that, that he wasn't bait. even in that. You know what I mean? Like, they do all this bait with it. Who's Sauron? Who's Gandalf? Who's this? Right? Guy? Was it Adam? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's, it's the mystery boxes you're talking mystery about. Mystery boxes, and once like, you start using, that, tell a fucking story, bro. Yeah, and it's. It just can't do it. Can't do it. If if I didn't read the books or didn't know anything about Lord of the Rings and didn't know how good the source material is, I'd be like, oh yeah, this show's decent. I never was excited to watch the show. Like I was like, always excited to watch. Yeah, we forced you to do it. We know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I said I would do it, and I wanted to give it a chance because I was honestly I was hoping I'd like it because I love Lord of the Rings. I love everything about Middle Earth. 
And there's certain things they would mention that I thought was cool. Mm -hmm. There's certain times I'd be like, oh, that's cool. It was cool seeing like um, Numenor and yeah, and yeah, his, definitely liked Luke uh, and like Numenor. I said, yeah, Adar was really cool. I liked his character because, yeah, because he was that character was elf. hinted at. Yeah, like some, he was original some... Urukai, and they they, right. they broke down that whole story of um, Morgoth taking the elves and twisting them and shit like that. And he was one of them. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah, because I love that type of stuff. Cimmerillion, Cimmerillion shit, so cool. <laughs> but like Sauron's like he's he's so badass. He's like a shapeshifter. Um, and he's not. He turned into werewolf. In he can turn into a werewolf. Oh, and then she had more brothers. Like they only mentioned the one brother, uh, I, which I thought was silly. Like she had more than one brother. And uh, mother boxes. Yeah, it's just mystery boxes. Both. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just a lot of stuff that they left on the table, either mm. because they couldn't. Is if you can't do it, then don't do it. That's, that's if you don't have mm. all the stuff, don't mm. do it. So I feel like this is the same kind of shit that made me feel after the first season of Walking Dead, and I said I can't do this anymore. Yeah, cause I because remember, I didn't I didn't read the books, and I remember you guys were like, "Nah, man, it's way better than this." I, I, yeah, 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 and it completely diverged. Where you saying like, you know, okay, you, you know, you've compared to like the boys is like this. It, you know, it was a really good example of this. I don't know if you've ever read the actual Wanted graphic novel. I didn't see the movie. I saw it. I don't remember the movie. I mean, the movie in, in in name is the only thing that's any really comparison. That's what I heard, yeah. And like, cause the 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 graphic novel is like way over here. Like it's 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 as a movie wanted. Sure, it stands on its own feet for being a kind of a cool action movie and right. bullet bullet curving and Angelina Jolie's ass. Awesome. Who doesn't like that, <laughs> right? But at the same time, like it's it's literally not even the same thing. They're just they're making a buck off the name of it, and that's exactly I think again what this is is that it's Lord of the Rings. It's it's like listen, I after I watched the first couple episodes were hard watch, and I got through it, and at that point I was like, gosh, I don't know if I can do this. Same. And then I plugged through over the last few days. I plugged through <laughs> yeah, the rest. You were like, yeah. I had to plug through them, and I would I would message <laughs> you about this. I'm like, bro, what the fuck am I watching right now? But that being said. I do feel like I was entertained more than watched it. Like, yeah. at the end it's of the day, it's at not, the end of the, it's not, not right. I've seen far worse things. Yep. Um, as 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 medieval style fantasy, I do feel it's very mid tier. Yep. I feel like they do try to pull a lot of like the mystery box thing. Like they try to get you. Like, oh look at all these twists. Yeah. Look at these Here's some member berries. Like, I find that stuff really weak. And I do definitely feel like a lot of the characters were empty. Even like. The, the main, which, and again, I think there's a testament to the to how much I could, just could give a fuck less, but, like, the, the main warrior elf that I always forget his fucking name. I don't I was, remember any. I just know Bronwyn, and I can't remember who was Bronwyn. I just felt like even Bronwyn the characters in the Theo city, like, were, um, I remember Theo, 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 Theo like, the I just. I oh, how yeah. many fake out deaths? Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm the but the characters are just, they just don't really, like, I'm not invested into them. Like, exactly, I didn't yeah. feel like I was invested to them. I wanted to be because I love elves, for one. Same. But even, even his character, like, I, there were moments of that where I was. But at the same time, I'm like, again, you know, you're talking about a, you, you, you since the beginning of the story, it's about what I felt like Galadriel and Sauron mostly. You know, we don't know where Sauron's at or whatever. And then maybe apparently Gandalf out of nowhere and then pushing Isildur in there out of nowhere hundreds of years early, too. And then killing him off like he's supposed to be like we like he's dead. Like we like, don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah like on, we man. don't know. Right. But like, you know, and then and then so. So, again, it just it just feels very like okay fantasy like I, I, honestly i th i think there's th it's better than wheel of time a lot of people that's amazon as well yeah, too watch and people people have a big problem with that yeah. from the books as well too i know some people that read those books and like i can't watch this shit i didn't yeah. read the books and i thought it's very mid as well too mm -hmm. um and i think another Sometimes comparison like stephen king um when they put stephen king stuff to screen it's like not even the same right thing. our dark materials on hbo um i need to watch that it's really good and i don't know the books on that one but people i do know read the books have said <laughs> It's actually pretty good, you know, the, okay, the media. So, so th that's I think the point. There are some things out there that w that are based off source material that people seem to mm -hmm. at least care about and want to do things and, and, and do that justice. But I definitely don't think this does Lord of the Rings at all any justice. And no. and you're not going to convince me otherwise. If people enjoy it, that's fine. Yep. It's not Lord of the Rings. Call it something else. I don't know. Call it, call it Lord of the fucking Water and the the thing that explodes at the end because the that's yeah. And oh, by the way, here's Balrog. Cool. Yeah, I so. totally agree, man. It's not Lord of the Rings. Like you can put that on there all you want, but it's not. And 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 that is. And I I'm so heated about it because I love like the set. Like I the woman that was here last time, I would say like I would get home from work and I couldn't 
wait to pick yeah. up that because it was just so like to me the Cimmerillion. Cimmerillion. To me the Cimmerillion was better than Lord of the Rings because it had it was man dread, all the stories and the bloodlines and the family trees, mm-hmm. dragons and werewolves and even vampires. Just <laughs> so much so much cool shit and it was like darker and like Morgoth was such a shit and then Feanor and and his whole thing and the kinslaying. Uh, and then when you get to Sauron and and how he rises to power and how Morgoth was like chaos, but Sauron's more order and just the everything. And then when you get to the end of it, you get to the third age when Gandalf shows up and Galadriel gives him the ring of fire, whatever it was. It's just, man, or the ring of power, maybe. But uh, Well, if it was fire, think about it. The whole fire bit during well, the- and the moths. Like, remember he would talk to moths. So oh, I, yeah, I, I yeah, def- yeah. And he says something about following your nose, like Gandalf did, and he mm-hmm. had the connection with the Harfoot. So it's like, but Gandalf shouldn't be there yet. Yeah, and Gandalf. It's, it's a member berry. It's a big it member is, berry. And it's all member berry. To me, it's, it's just very Hawk nose cheap, member cheaply berry. done, and um, it's just very disrespectful to what could have been. And honestly, and, and I, it's cool if you like this, but man, I couldn't even imagine how it would be on par. With Game of Thrones, if they made it, how like the potential it could be, mm-hmm. and like hands down, it'd be one of the best shows on TV. And I was excited when they first announced it, but when I saw all the marketing and the stuff they were saying, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be one of those." Mm-hmm. And uh, it was, and that's a bummer. So, but season two, I don't think I can watch it. I don't think I will unless there's some major drastic changes. And other thing, real quick, hold that thought: the fake out deaths. How many times? <laughs> like, did we? They act like bro, or the nurse or the the mom died like five times, and then she got hit by two arrows. She's basically they only Ripley. pulled out one, and just stuff like that. And then the one lady, the queen's like, "I don't want people to know I'm blindfolded," and proceeds to wear a blindfold or blind. She's like, "I don't want people to know I'm blind." And then proceeds to wear a blindfold. Yeah. And it's like, what the hell is this? Like stuff like that. It's so asinine. It's like, come on, man. It's that's mm-hmm. just that's not good writing. I'm sorry. It's mm-hmm. that's shitty writing. And uh, there was a lot of it just so happens in that show. It just so happens that Galadriel jumped off the boat, but it just so happens that Sauron was on that. Uh, what's it called? It just so conveniently happens, on that. Yes, yeah, yeah, it just yeah. so happens that Theo, Theo found that dagger that needed to do this. It just so happens that they. Tra- it's just it's like the story doesn't write itself. They're they're implementing these things in the story to fit what they need to happen instead of writing a story that just everything just happens um, organically. organically. Yes. So, I was gonna sorry say, guys for the rant, but it's just it's, all I was gonna say is that uh, you know honestly I was uh, I actually with all the faults this has, which is pretty much all of them, um, I actually do think this is much more watchable than the Halo shit. I have not watched Halo, but when I saw the stuff that was going on and I heard, I said, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, I I can't do it. So, um, yeah, but and if you like it, don't be one of those fans that's like. Oh, you, do, you like the lore. You should just shut up and watch it. Don't be that fan because we all have something that we love. And whether it's a sports team, whether it's a book, whether another it's a series movie, that did this, whether it's another series, we all have a video game that gets turned into something. We all have something that we love that has been turned to shit and it hurts us. It's like a dagger in the heart. So don't be one of those fans. Like, I like Andor, but I understand why people don't like it. I'm open-minded to it because I don't want to hate on anybody. Now, I don't agree with them, but I understand why they don't like it. I still think the show is good. Rings of Power, I don't need to be on. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a good show. It's oh, it's an okay show. It's an okay show. For, and not even just because of the source material, but just the way it's written um, and the acting and some of the way, like, a lot of the scenes, just it's, it's an okay show. And one thing that bothers me so bad, I'm sorry, is that they have no sense of time. This dude was bleeding, Sauron was bleeding, and they had to ride all the way to um, back in Numenor, great, didn't they? Yeah, not Numenor. It was where the elves where were. The elves were. I forgot. Yeah. That's longer than a six day ride if you judge it by Lord of the Rings. Them because <laughs> them walking to or to Mount Doom. They at least showed it's, that it's longer than a six day ride. And also, if he was bleeding that bad. He should be fucked up within six days. Well, exactly. So but then they gave him some elven medicine and he was cool. But I guess that's because he is so on and whatever. But like that just made no. But they're they're always like, oh, we have this journey, and the next episode they're there. Yeah. At least yeah. like with 
like even lost. Celebrimbor like, and Elrond walking up to the gate. Yeah, like the they're, always, they're always like they're just there. Like they teleport, and and that really shut up, Jay Hill. That takes a lot of stuff out. Son of a bitch. It's the Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There you go. Mortal Kombat's a perfect example. I don't know what the fuck they did with that. And apparently they're making a sequel. I heard. I didn't. That's cool. I haven't heard about it. Don't even know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, you guys, good. I guess. Yeah, I got that out. <laughs> Dope ass show. Check it out. It's awesome. Big mm-hmm. fan. No, the the thing is that that he mentioned. Uh, that watch it. You watch it. Judge for yourself. No, and and, and the thing is that I like about what, what you guys say is like, look, if if you enjoy the show, see, I I the minute I will lose respect for like like I understand if you're a fan of the source mm-hmm. material right. and you see it for the bastardization that it is, I get why they're upset. I get why you're upset. But the thing that I like about you guys is you don't sit there and gatekeep. And be yeah. like, you can't enjoy this mm-hmm. because it's not the source material. Right. Mm-hmm. When when somebody does that shit, and I'll do the same thing. Like, man, if 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 Lord, if, if if The Last of Us comes out, the show, and it's a fucking abomination. Right. And somebody who's never played the game, which is a lot of people that haven't played that game, and uh, game. adults and, uh, older than us are gonna watch and be like, man, this is really compelling stuff. I'm not gonna be like, well, you know, you can't like this. <laughs> right. You know, I'm just gonna be like, that's cool. I'm glad you like it. And you guys are the same way. And, and, and because when you get into the gatekeeping shit, yeah. that's where I'm just like, okay, first of all, shut the fuck up. Yep. I don't know the shit that you know. And I'm just, I'm just judging it at face, face value. Yep. And I'm just enjoying it for what it is. And you guys understand. And that's what I appreciate about this conversation because I respect the fuck out of the fact that you guys know the source material. And you put the time in to read it and you appreciate what Tolkien was doing. And and I mean I'm sure if I read the book I'd probably be the same I'd probably be in the same boat yeah. I'd be like man because when I'm hearing you guys talking about this stuff I'm just like Whew. you know I'm over here making like a dope ass show because I, I I enjoy it but at the same time I'm hearing you guys I'm just like god damn yeah mm-hmm. you know like holy shit they really took yeah. a lot of liberties with this shit. and I think that's the big liberties. piece about it at the end of the day yeah. is that it's not like it's a couple of things there's a couple swerves or a time jump yeah. It's literally sort of heavy handed, like it's off. Like, yeah, it's changing right. things. It's it's yeah, it's literally it, it, changing to the things. point where it could f- possibly if again, those are supposed to be ring rays prior to getting fucking rings. But I don't think they are. I think they're more like the, like because ne- aren't the East yeah, like I necromancers like, or something? I, weird like they that. have to be a necromancer. Well, Sauron's they're supposed like to be witches. a necromancer. Well, yeah, we get into that. That's, yeah, that's, he's uh, the yeah, necromancer. But, 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 yeah, so I, it looked like that's what they made him look like was ring rays. But I'm hoping right. they weren't because it wouldn't make sense. Right. And that's the point. It's like they're they're. But I mean, they, at this they're... point, I mean, it would really be surprising. No, honestly, no, honestly, no, I mean, you're right. I, it's just it's just weird to see things like happen before a chain of events that makes that happen. I, yeah. I, that's a weird choice. But no, I, I like that's the one thing I was telling Tony. I was like, I'm really excited about this conversation because I I always love that side. I hate the shit in between where, like I said, the gatekeeping and yeah. and, and this and that. But when you sit there and you and, and that's that's the thing. Books is one thing, but when you go to a medium like television where it's more accessible to a lot mm. of people than books and stuff like that, yep. you're watching it for like. I'm here to watch this to see if it's any good, if it's mm-hmm. entertaining. And then there's people who read the books like, I want to see if it's entertaining because I know the source material and that's entertaining. And if it's faithful to the source material, it's going to be entertaining. Yeah. But if it's not, there's one group that's going to be let down. And like, look, I don't think this show, uh, but, but when I say it's a, a dope ass show, I just mean I enjoyed my time with it. I like yeah. seeing the yeah. stuff develop. I can see and stuff. why people like it. I, I dig that part of mm-hmm. it, but I mean, like at the same time, I don't think it's a. I don't think it's on the same level as House of, House of the Dragon. It's not that, even close. That kills me. Is like you see all these like these critics. Like I think IGN. They're like, oh, this is ten out of ten. No, the fuck, it's not. IGN. Right, right. It's even if you don't like wishy-washy. Lord of the Rings, it's like it's not. And yeah. you have these people that they like it because they. You have people that hate it. Because it's the cool thing to do. They just hate it. They have no valid reason why they right. hate it. They just hate it. But then you have the people that like it because it's the cool thing to do. Oh, it's so different and it's diverse and it's this and this is a 10 out of 10. No, it's not, man. Like, let's all be honest and be real. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it goes back. I love Fist of the North Star love action movie. That movie fucking sucked. <laughs> it was a horrible movie. But I like it. You know what I mean? Right, and puddles, if you, if you right. were to say, dude, that movie sucked, I'd be like, you're right. It did. But I liked it. And so it's like sometimes you got like don't try to sell me on something that it's not. This this is not a ten out of ten show, and just because by the 
the the errors in writing and and pacing and just the the small things that I was complaining about. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, and it's like the Star Wars prequels. I like them for what they are, but they're not great movies. Mm-hmm. They're I don't think so. Sorry. Yeah, I, no, no, no. I no, 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 no. But I think I think the one thing I love about the prequels is they they they're in a complete line. They they tell a story from A, B, and C. Um, I just don't think they're great movies. The acting and some of the the stuff. Gotcha, is, yeah. But guess what? I'll still watch them. I'll probably fast forward through some of the things. Prequels better than the sequels? I, I do because it's a complete oh, yeah. story, and I felt like the sequels was just a money grab. I yeah. feel like the sequels were always trying to like fix what the previous one did. Like they were always trying yes. to change things. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna fix yeah. this. People people don't want to admit that, this. but yeah, that's exactly well, the, 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 exactly I, what they like, were doing. Uh, uh, something that was I don't want to get in that conversation, but I just <laughs> I felt like they were they. I, they honestly were a money grab. Like, obviously, you want to make money off anything you make, but there was a guy, I can't remember his name, but he said, I will give me three years and I'll make the scripts for all three movies. And they said no. They pretty much wanted to get that $4 mil- $4 yeah. million dollars back. And instead of taking their time with it, Force Awakens was good, but it was just. It was a carbon was copy new, reprint of a new Literally, if you literally yeah. look at it, it it's, honestly it's seriously is. like everything yeah. plays out the same way. And what they yeah. did, and, and um, this is something that Rings of Power does. To prop up the characters they want, they demean other characters. Uh, okay. So, like, to prop up Ray, they made Luke Luke look stupid, or Han be like this, like he's he's not what he was. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? The only one they to kept make Finn high was or... yeah. Boy, and the then they just they... end up fucking up Finn like horribly. Yeah, <laughs> but the only one they kept high was Leia. But like the other ones, they just they made him look shitty to prop up the characters that haven't earned that status. Right. And I always go back to this: one of the best shows that takes nostalgia. And mixes it with the future is Cobra Kai. Mm-hmm. Yep. They know how to respect what came before it, but mm-hmm. also pass the torch to what's in front of it. And they do it a really good job of doing that to where you care about the old characters and you care about the new characters. It's incredible. Cobra it's a passion Kai, project. The thing is, man, I, I, I don't know if it'll ever get the, the, the recognition it deserves. Mm-hmm. Cobra Kai has really set the precedent set going the bar. forward it has. for not just TV, but movie. I mean, everything. Yeah. Everything. The way you handle the passing of the torch. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, like at the end of the day, Cobra Kai will probably be like, okay, cool. It's hype, 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 hype. Yep. But when you look at everything going forward, mm-hmm. you see a little bit of that DNA mm-hmm. in everything. And I just don't know if Cobra Kai is ever going to get that recognition. It, it probably won't. I'll take The Last Terminator, for example. In order, and it's a perfect example, and it's not the only series that does this, they ha- they feel like they have to kill what came before it. Right. Like, they try to be better than what came before it. You're never going to be better than what came before it because that was the a original reason, yeah. thing. That's yeah. the reason you have this. Yes, that was new. That was fresh back then. So instead, what do they do? Spoilers. They kill John Connor. And then they literally tell the same story with different characters in a shittier way. Right. And they're trying to say, this is way better. No, it's not. It's <laughs> shitty. It's shitty. You have you don't have the charisma of Arnold with your new Terminator. Mm-hmm. Your your villain is not as cool as a T-1000 because they've seen it all before and they've seen <laughs> it done better. And that's something that, that the sequel trilogy did. They, they shit on the old characters. Who are the most beloved characters in, like, cinema history you talked about money it came down to money because they got to pay a lot more money of residuals yes, to that old yes. stuff and that's what it all, was all about and then they really shit on they didn't want luke skywalker they every script they had they're like we can't have luke in it like this because every time he shows up on the page he takes away from the other characters it's because he's a good character so it's like anytime you put if you were to put batman on screen with hawkman and dr fate guess who's going to get the love Batman, Batman, because yep. he's a great established character. Exactly. You have to build up those other characters. Yep. You can't shit on Batman, make him look stupid, and then try to build those up because they yep. haven't deserved right. that. Yep. And that's what a lot of people do. And I felt like they tried to do it for uh, for Galadriel. Every character that they they that interacted with her, they either had to learn something from her, or they lost to her, or they were demeaned by her. And so instead of just naturally raising her up. They shit on the characters around her to raise it up. And it's just like, that's a bad way of trying to promote your, or have your characters, because they're not growing, you're forcing them. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of Hollywood does nowadays. It's like, they don't get it. 
So I, they don't care. Quick buck yeah, yeah quick buck. Yep. And, and, and honestly, in the last and thing I'll say. even if you do bring back characters, it. that it's it's how you utilize them. Yeah, absolutely. You yes. can't just sit there and bring them back. Like, 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 look, man, like, uh, I know this won't be a popular opinion, but Ghostbusters Afterlife. I, I, I liked it. Mm-hmm. I liked the passing of the torch. I felt it was lazy, though. Mm-hmm. I would have liked to have see seen that. the original Ghostbusters that. be more integral to the Absolutely. part of the passing of the torch. And they literally showed up in the last five minutes. Yeah. yeah. You know, I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity. Yeah. So, I mean, but I mean, at the same time, you look at like uh, they're doing a new Beverly Hills Cop movie. And they're going to have Ooh. Judge Reinhold and John Hurd back as Taggart. Back, and yeah. all these guys are coming back. In what aspect, though? Exactly. And I, that's I worry about that new Indiana Jones because we're like, oh, we have a new female Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford's in it. The only like, reason oh, I, I am the only reason I am excited this. for the Indiana Jones, and it's no joke. We, we talk about Harrison Ford when he does his interviews and all this stuff. Well, uh, he, and usually this usually is it's 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 kind of just like whatever. Yeah. When he did his uh, introduction to it at D twenty three, he cried because John the music. Yeah. He got he cried. He yep. got emotional because he this and he dude, you don't character. see that from Blade. Mm-hmm. Blade Runner, you don't see that with 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 the with the Star Wars with no. Or, no, this one you can tell this one meant something to him. Yeah, and that's why I have some hope for Indy Five because not only because that because they have to make up, they have to make up for Crystal of the Kingdom. I, I don't think I don't have hope for it because Kathleen Kennedy's involved uh, and, that's uh, point, and nothing point. nothing like I said I think in the past when she has reigned in and has great people around her she's a great producer. When she has her own ideas, she's very political, heavy, heavily driven. Sure, yep. And uh, it's like, I can't get behind. I don't care what politics you are. Once you start beating people over the head with your uh, your politics or your beliefs and your ideas, then you, you take me right out of the movie because that's all I see is like you're trying to force this narrative instead of letting it like the first. Or just in, be the story it should yeah, be. Yeah, it should just be a story that it should be instead of trying to force this whole fucking thing. It's just like, just, can we just stop? What were her politics for Congo? Pretty she sure did Congo? She, I'm ah. pretty sure she was a part of Congo. I don't, but see, I don't think she was really doing major pol- political things until she got a hold of Star Wars. Because that's when she had the whole. Well, um, because it was a big franchise, she had the keys to at that point. Yeah, yeah, that's I what I mean. Like, she, she was, was going to reach a wider audience. Like, yeah, everything else was, she was yeah. reined in. She had. She's uh, worked. At, yeah, she works on indie movies. She's worked. She's been around. I did not realize how long. She, early eighties. Yes, early eighties. She like if I don't know how old she she's is. She's established in Hollywood. I mean, she's like well, like she's had more she wins just, than losses for she sure. Has, she's she, had a lot of more has, wins. She's just handled. The Star Wars very poorly, very poorly. Um, by the way, very Cobra poorly. Kai did announce season six today. I don't know if anybody's seen. Oh, did they? Um, they did it. They actually kind of hinted at did the they villain. Say, did they say if it's the final season? Uh, they did not, but they hinted at the villain, and somehow Palpatine returned, guys. <laughs> no, I'll tell you this. Um, oh, what was his name? What was the Japanese guy's name? Uh, Nuki Papamoto. No. Uh, oh, you're talking about Chosen? Cho- I fucking love Chosen, Chosen, man. Chosen, man. Chosen was dope, man. He's my dude, man. Yeah. Chosen was dope. <laughs> and the dude that uh, ran the furniture store killed me, too. Uh, the old the bad Mike boy. Barnes. Oh, Mike God. Barnes. Yeah, dude. Mike Barnes. That, 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 that show knows how to just really. I didn't like the way they handled Mike Barnes at the end of getting his ass knocked out in that big oh, fight. I was like, come yeah. on. Let, let Mike Barnes get into yeah, it. He sh- he's a big dude, yeah, but of man. all of them, he wasn't the one. He he, he didn't keep with the martial arts, really. It didn't look yeah, like that. Yeah, but it's, it's, true. it's Mike Barnes. He looked like he was dude, beating he, up on Hot Pockets a yeah, little but bit I more. Mean, that's, you're bringing back Mike Barnes. I want to see Mike Barnes do a little bit. What about Mike Jones? Well, maybe we'll. Mike Barnes. Mike Barnes. Maybe we. Maybe we'll get that in the next season. Maybe hey, you know we I mean? better because uh, yeah. I feel like his I feel like his character out of everyone they brought back was the one that didn't get that. Like chosen dude got to. Dude, got chosen's to, a freaking assassin. Yeah, chosen got, but he got yeah his, cuddles. It he is. Got, he got his redemption. He was able to come back and and do his thing and because he was a bad guy and, and cried a good too. Yeah, he got to come back and get his redemption arc. Barnes just kind of got knocked out and like you're gonna yeah, sit this fight. Right. I was yeah. like, come on, give Mike he was a in little the kitchen love. Eating it. <laughs> well, I wonder if uh, what's her face. Uh, I you think so? No, he doesn't Mike. agree. He doesn't really? agree. Hillary Swank's Dude, coming Hillary back, Swank. bro. Was that the same timeline? Yes. Yeah, it's part of it's part of that. It's, it's part of oh, uh, uh, Hillary Swank is like, yeah, I'll show up at least for an episode. What's your thought? Your thought is it's his uh, old girl's. Mom, I think right? it might be Tori's mom. Tori's mom, because because we, we see. In this season, Tori's mom's on in the bedroom on like, but we don't see her face. Oh, because she's dude. Sick. I mean, if you look at, I mean, the way if they introduce her, that I mean, Christ. I mean, uh, well, wasn't Tori's mom like not cool? 
She, we don't know. I mean, she's, we don't know much about her yet. Really, uh, we don't. There's been a whole lot of mystery. She's been there. taking care of her the whole time. But if you want to add her in, that's a good spot. That's to a good start. one. I mean, Man, shit, the way they introduced uh, Robin sweet. Lively from Karate Kid Three, she's fucking uh, Daniel's wife's, wife's cousin friend, or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? I didn't even. You didn't pick up that right away. No, not right away. I'm like, I'm like wait Kid a Kid minute. Three. I'm like, oh my god, that's a super. I was like, holy shit. So I think Hillary Swank is gonna somehow either it's gonna be her mom or they're gonna go have to go with a different direction of it. But I think can Cobra Kai save next Karate Kid like it saved Karate Kid three though? Well, I mean, I think so. I think it will. It will. Hillary Swank said it. They asked her about it. They asked her about it, and she was very like, "Ah, "She was super vague." You know what? If she was super vague, then there's probably talks because it's because Elizabeth Shue was vague. Like everybody's been vague about shit. I was so happy when she showed up, man. Yeah, well, season seven is Jade Smith. No, here's what I want to ask you guys though. Last question. We're gonna wrap things up. We're gonna wrap things up. What's going on now? Uh, When it comes to Karate Kid, if they do a season, uh, did they really announce season six? No, I just wanted to help. Do you think of season six that 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 should be it? I think think, should be it. Yeah, I don't think we got a enough of a finale out of five and i think there's just enough loose end with crease mm-hmm. that we can do a season six but it that's it has because we all said we didn't think it should go after this and yeah. it ended up being a good season yeah. so yes. it actually was one of the better seasons uh, yeah and i yeah exactly so i think they need to just end it season six get it out it's dude it's done great it's it's great let's let, let, let yeah let, let's let's not let's not uh <laughs> Only if Jackie produces the Jackie handle. can comes back and does the action. I can't handle. There's like a. Okay. There's a block. We're not going to start. That's there's the a whole... block of hot takes. First of all, the Jackie Chan okay. one is it okay. has okay. nothing. That, he's a kung fu fighter. Yeah, he's a kung fu fighter. It's not karate. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. And, it, it's, and he's not even Mr. Miyagi. So yeah. let's just. Okay. Yeah, a lot of a lot of bad so hot cool. takes out there tonight. So we're gonna leave that at that. So all right, we're gonna wrap it up. Yes. Uh, first, because we can seriously go on and on. But hey, awesome. Rohit, man, the reason that really wanted to have yours not only because you're fucking just an amazing guest and we love yeah. having you here i love being here i love talking to mid-tier guests but whatever but man, <laughs> it's, it's your respect of power <laughs> it's your respect and your love of the tolkien books and what have you and those stories that yeah. we really wanted to get that perspective and i knew tone had a similar perspective and but you're higher <laughs> like I mean, I'm just saying, like my perspective, like yeah. even even my knowledge of the lore doesn't sometimes like is undershadowed by yours. So, and, and, and that's the, that's the conversation I wanted to have was the you know from a guy's perspective, a person's perspective who is not familiar with it, just taking it for face value and and just entertainment for the the sake yeah. of entertainment. And you know, I hope you know anybody in the chat. Like, it's me ranting, and I'm not no, I like I, I, I hope or even anybody watching. It's like. I hope you didn't it didn't sour you, you did. on the show. I just <laughs> hope you realize why I vehemently just don't like the show. It is is because I'm so passionate. I about... think it's good because there's other people that share your perspective. They're, yeah. they're, you're, you're... Yeah, some people are just assholes about it, and I just, I got hot and I got excited about it. But it does it irks me that much, like because yeah. there's so much good shit out there, and they just honestly they've really taken. It just it is, they've just really disrespected it, and it's just like that bugs me so much. No, oh, and yeah. I and I think it's important to hear that. That's that's the thing I'm trying to say. It's like it's important to hear that yeah. perspective. You know, it's important to hear because like, how well, they act about it really bugs. Like such. See, now that 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 shit we do when, like, when, when 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 producers of shows and showrunners attack fans, yeah, act like for not like, appreciating or, yes. or for making a big deal. about so it's dude, like, you don't understand changes. it. You don't understand it. Yeah, exactly. You don't understand things, and no, that you don't understand. Yeah, it, when, when the showrunners are popping off like that, you've done fucked up. So it's just mm. like, yeah, that there's no excuse for that. Like right. you, you took on the task of bringing this story to the screen. Yep. And if you, you if you're bastardizing it and you're pissing off the fans, you can't sit there and talk shit. You know, you know what you're doing. Yeah. You know what you're doing when or you're not doing or yeah, not yeah. doing. For, take yeah, take exactly. the constru- constructive criticism yeah. and make it and own it dude. better. Yeah. yeah. The last people you want to piss off are the people that have been waving the flag for years. Because those are the people that are going to stick with you if you make something halfway decent. Mm-hmm. And once you start attacking them, you get shit like Solo. You, you people, the fans got attacked for Last Jedi. They said, "I'm not. I'm not going to go see this movie." Huh? And they didn't. And that ha- that wasn't the only reason, but like a lot of it had to do with their marketing and and yeah. people just weren't hyped on it. Which was still actually, a fun I actually movie. The movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. But you had a lot of people that were not going to go because of how they acted about Last Jedi. And, and see, I, I'll, echo what what, I'll echo what Cherry says. I respect your opinion. I still like it. I find it entertaining. But yeah. you make me want to learn the lore better. Yeah, and still enjoy it. The fact that you enjoy it is awesome. And and I wish I could enjoy it like you. Like, legit. 
Mm-hmm. When I hear the score, I'm going to get the score. I oh, love I bought, the score. I downloaded that. Barry, yes. Barry McCreary is, I love the score. He does God of War. I mean, Barry yeah. McCreary is. He did 24, is, I believe. He did God of War. He did a lot of he stuff. Did, he did King of the Monsters. And, and it's, oh, King of the Monsters. That Godzilla theme That's is why one he of my did favorite. King of the Monsters, yeah. But it's right. like, right. um, and I, I'm glad you can enjoy it. And I honestly wish I could because Lord of the Rings is some of my favorite shit. And I just... I get, I'm hurt by it. It's just like, man, it could be so much Sorry. better. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm hurt, Amazon. You fucked up. But uh, well, Liam Neeson, all of you motherfuckers right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, nah, man, it's just, thanks I for having me on the show. Are. I love talking shop. Obviously, we just start talking about stuff, and it just yeah, goes it go, we, we can go off rails, but I, it's uh, good, though, yeah. man. It's good. Yeah, and I think we should sometime do plan a show where we can have you on. And we loosen the topics a little bit, and just and just see where we take yeah. the conversation. You because mean like, I uh, like like December like tenth, maybe. maybe December tenth on a Saturday? Uh, do you I check might be schedule? wrestling. Yeah, no. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm in Wisconsin that week. Well, oh, yo, no, you get cheese that's, curds that's, at fucking that's, Culver's, that's, bro. That's, that's a special number one hundred oh. for a certain podcast. If something doesn't happen, maybe I can do one hundred and one. Maybe I don't know. Mark, hey, what, whatever that. December tenth. December tenth. December tenth again. December tenth. We're planning right now for the one hundredth episode. Sweeps, Phantom Menace. So that it's gonna be a Saturday. Crash, Saturday crash. night. Hope you crash. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. We don't know yet. We'll, we'll, we, we're well, if we if out. we do it like late afternoon, midday, because we don't know how. Like I can just tell you, it's gonna be a six hour stream. That's right. Yeah. So we need start. to make sure. So we're we're gonna. But we're we're in some talks. So we got some people that uh, locally we might talk into, seeing maybe stop by. Hey, but uh, right. some people gonna be in Wisconsin eating cheese curds. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, if you have if you have Lupe on, I saw he was in the chat for like a hot second. Stop. He must have woke up to go pee. He woke hey, up to go pee. If, if yeah. Lupe, if you're watching, I hope they give you a little sandwich. Mm, That's knuckle, what I knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich. Uh, Raheem, once again, where are you gonna be uh, recently? Uh, upcoming. I will be in Indiana mm-hmm. at Black Label Pro on Saturday. If that goes well, I know we have to take some matches off, but I'm still gonna be there. And then I will be at Glory Pro on Sunday. Twans, I don't know if you're gonna be there, but you did say you're looking forward to seeing Carmen and I win the tag team wow. titles against those scrubs. I mean, just look at the poster. Look at everyone on the poster and then look at Carmen and I. We are primed athletes ready for professional wrestling, and then we're going to beat up a Great bunch a. of nerds. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> can't mess, you can't mess with the hustle and the muscle, man. Yeah, you the mocha, be, you'd, be, you'd be silly the if you did. The olive orangutan and the, or, the mocha skin manimal. Are you crazy? I can't believe you guys Jeez. got big flexi signed with you, too, because yes, I got to tell like you. he's like eight feet tall. Dude, he's literally eight feet tall. Yes. <laughs> Throws the best right hand in the dude, business. Dude. Make sure you follow him on Twitch. Or I'm yeah. sorry, not Twitch. Twitter, Twitch. but Instagram. Instagram. That's yeah. if you what want is it? if you want to see the hotness. My Twitch, I just I will be my boxers playing whatever doing. That's, yeah, that's after, hours, after Raju, hours. Raju Raju Zane eighty on Insta. And then, uh, of course, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Rohit. Go buy yourself a shirt. That's right. I actually have some shirts in stock, and it says, God created all men equal, then he made me the sequel. Ladies, you can get that, too, because, you know, technically evil is made second, so you can make that work for you. See? I'm a man of all people. Let's go. (laughs) Hit me up for a t-shirt. If you'd uh, like to purchase his uh, uh, thong after this episode, uh, it's hit the Discord. I do we'll wear. Sell it to I you. do. Uh, my. It's bad to have your underwear hang out under your trunks, and I got a lot of junk in the trunk, so I wear a thong under my trunks. A lot. Ravishing Rick Rude. Ravishing Rohit Raju. A lot of junk so, in that trunk. Rohitus Raju. Rohizi baby. Rohizi baby. Raju. Cherry. We'll Zane throw all of his information 80. in the Discord. We'll get his all of his links. We'll <laughs> you get everything crash in the, the Discord. show, Cherry. Sweet. I hope you do. It'd be awesome. We got you hooked up for show. Tone? Yep. What do we got planned, man? What, what's going on? Uh, what, are doing, what are we doing Friday night? Are we doing? Are we doing Ghostbusters or Call of Duty? Uh, what are we doing? I have, I have no, I don't even know if I'm gonna be in town actually. Oh. Well, then I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna take right, over right, the, right, the, the, the closing here. Friday night, we either gonna be busting. Yeah. Or I might dutying. Be busting. We're gonna I might be doing busting. one of those two things. We're gonna be busting or dutying. One We're of those both? two things. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, if man, we're busting funny. or dutying. Oh my we'll god! We'll let you know. Make sure you're in the Discord. Yeah. We're Lies. gonna do both. We're if gonna, I'm, a, it's, it's gonna be a late night of drinking and gaming. If I'm around, I want to do some busting. I, bust but if I sure. if I'm around, I'll definitely be in the chat. Watch you guys do it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, be ready. Of course, next uh, Wednesday as well too. We'll have uh, 
Lots of great stuff to talk about. We're going to watch uh, the Guillermo del Toro. The, I can never get it right. Something, something. Oh, remind me to watch that because I'll watch forget. It. Don't forget, yep. dummy. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the, lot- the, the, the Star Wars yep. uh, Tales from the Jedi. Oh, yes. what, are we going to watch a movie? For Christ's sake. So Do we, we have watch- a movie? Do we have a movie for next week? We should watch Bullet Train. Did you guys I've watch been- The Northman? Busy. Yeah. I did what, the Northman. Did you watch that? Fucking amazing movie. Okay, movie, yeah. incredible you, movie. You bring it, it was up like an movie. artsy. Uh, it was like an artsy uh, gladiator, and yeah, I loved it. Was it was really cool. Super artsy gladiator, and I dug it, man. Yeah, I like the, the Dean. We used to work with him. Played Northman. Cuddle says, "Watch Game Changers." <laughs> I don't know, but we'll be talking. We'll di- di- next week. There will probably be a lot of video game talk. I'm going to talk about Mario and Rabbids. And we'll talk about Call of Duty multiplayer campaign. I want to talk about a little bit about single player tonight. We'll talk about that next week. So we'll do some gaming stuff. I know Bayonetta comes out on Friday, and that reviewed incredibly well. Are you a Bayonetta guy? No. No? Really? Mm, yeah, I don't care. Okay. All right. Sweet. At all. Well, fuck it. I'm going to talk about games. All. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Rohit, as always, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate mm-hmm. you being no, here, man. Yeah. Me. As always. No. Oh, no. I'm going to cut it off before they have to age gate this shit. For <laughs> Rohit Raju. Okay. For Fanboy Tone. Me. I'm the dude 79. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you Friday night right here on Twitch. Playing some if games. not, we'll see you next Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay safe.